Cozy corner of the internet There's a channel that's a hidden gem Mom and pop quilt shop is so quaint Where the art of quilting finds its place With a warm smile they welcome you in Guiding hands is always begin from tracing patterns to stitching scenes Together we create our dreams Stitches of love we weave and sew In this online world we come to grow Mom and pop will shop where hearts align Let's embrace the craft and let our souls People thinking I'm tall or anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I sit. I fit, so I sit. <laughs> How's it doing? How's everybody doing? Welcome, welcome. For the beer panel and coordinating fabs packs. Oh, oh, very nice, very nice. Uh, yeah, I, I'm just, uh, I have it, so I might as well use it. And I know they're like nature y fans, so I might as well make a wedding gift out of it, right? Doesn't have to be a huge bed quilt, it just could be a nice little cut of quilt for the couch, like the one behind me. So everybody's getting hitched. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. All you, all you like stomping in there. I know, isn't that lovely um, music for the intro? Thank you, Pop. I see a lot of your names popping around on the YouTube livers today. Happy to, that you're supporting other people too. That's awesome. Mm -mm -mm. Hi, everybody. Hey, Peggy, Peggy Cox. I haven't seen you, and maybe I haven't seen you. Have I seen you? It's been a while if I haven't. 
Alexandria, uh, spent everyone just sitting here re re recovering from my auto accident. Oh, that it was in the other night. Everyone said, oh my goodness, what happened? Tell us the details. Hello, Kathleen. Hello, Laura, Lynn, and Pop. Hope you're both feeling great. Pop, uh, doing much better. I hope so, too. Hello, Karen. Hello, Lori. Hello, guess who, Nancy and Janine. Whoa. And Samantha and Sylvia and Mona. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. I'm just saying the names now. Hello, Jerry and Katie and Lois. Hello, Miss Allison. So, yeah, we're going to add some fabric to the sides of these. We're just going to build it out. We're going to have some fun. So, I figure this bears. So, you know, bear paw at least. So, I figured four, one for each of the corners. And then we've got some beautiful fabric. We do some big strips block, do some of this, do some of that, whatever. A little, it'll be done. <laughs> hello Roxanne, hello Tina, hello Donna, hello Miss Practically Creative, Kathy D's Creative Chaos, I bet it is, I bet it is. Yes, happy weekend everybody, uh, Easter weekend, uh, and happy Saturday. Um, I'm not sure if you guys celebrate Easter, or some of you may not, and that's okay too. Hello, Suzanne, hello Colton and Stephanie Stitches. Hello and happy Saturday. Exactly. Hello, the Violets. Uh, Miss Sean today was busy planting out onion seedlings. Oh, nice, nice. Nice, nice. He had uh, in quilt effect um, on this, this morning, so. Um, hello, Craft to Simple Life over on Twitch. How you doing there, my dear? Hello, 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 Deborah Holman, Don Huffler, Piggy. Yes, I've been, it's been a while. Okay, I invited a friend who works with War of Panels. Uh, when making clothes, gave her a link to, oh nice, perfect, perfect, like, well that was last week's, we used panel too, we chopped that sucker up, we did, keep it old, slice and dice, <laughs> hello Kelly, Colts and Cruises, hugs to everybody, hugs, 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 hope you're having a good day, and thank you, thank you everybody for saying hi, I think Pop is, is doing better, he's hanging out with me today, he should be, should be there, should be, if he pops up. We say his name three times, it might happen. <laughs> yes, I'm doing much better. There you go. <laughs> Hello, Michelle the Clipler. Hello, Pat over on Twitch. Thank you very much for your support there. Appreciate it. GCH, I will do your box today. I'm so sorry. I totally forgot. Tuesday, it was kind of like, bye, bye. Went to turn off Sophie's camera. Went, oh, I forgot to talk about your box. <laughs> so, so I'm so sorry. <laughs> You know, squirrel and shiny objects and things. I just kind of got focused, and then it was just like, you know, that was that. And I, I apologize. It is right here to go through. So. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, poor Allison's got rain coming down in buckets. Uh, Pop, was that you singing? No, it was not me singing. Nope. I'm not that good. Sorry, I had to phone Chinese order that. Ooh, what are we having? What we have? What do we have that I could have? <laughs> Hello, Lori. What's going on? Thanks. All oh, the hearts. Hearts are cute. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, this was uh, Wednesday's long arm Wednesday. So if you saw the get stitched up, it was good fun. Uh, nice little heart pattern stitch out, and I used another panel to slice up and used as the binding. And you can see where it kind of coordinates color wise from one strip of binding to the next, where it kind of went to, into the color. And then I stewed it up and then around. So it looks really nice, though. Crispy chicken and spare ribs. I'll take the crispy chicken. <laughs> uh, the as into Miss Practically, uh, sorry, um, Crafty Simple Life's question. How was the duck? The duck tasted really good. Unfortunately, it's really greasy, uh, um, and it's a lot of dark meat. And it's, my tummy wasn't all that fancy happy with it. So I like the taste of it, but uh, unfortunately, Crohn's does not really allow you for dark meat and fatty meats. So. Um, but apparently the eggs are supposed to be better for than normal chicken eggs. So hey, if we have ducks, it'll be because they're, you want that magic button magic, you know, like, come on. <laughs> Hello, Charlotte. Hello, Charlotte Poe, how you doing? Hello, Miss Nadine. That cool. It turned out really nice. It really did. And then it's got a lovely uh, neutral back to it. And I used a, a, a peachy colored thread. And it's a beautiful stitch out. It's got little hearts you can see there. So, it turned out nice. I just have to hand stitch the bindings. So. Hello, Charlotte Vander. I am cooking rhubarb as a side dish. Oh, I love rhubarb. Rhubarb strawberry pie is my favorite. <laughs> and if I missed anybody, I'm sorry. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. 
My tummy rules. Uh, yes, yes, yeah, it does. So trust me. I wish it didn't roll me so much. I'd be eating T-bone steaks every night. Um, yeah, it took, uh, yeah it's, and it was a Peking duck. So I'm not saying we won't ever do it again. It, we just, it just can't be a regular part of the diet. Unfortunately, it's just chicken and fish. I'm, I'm just chicken and fish kind of person. It's a good thing we moved to the coast, eh? <laughs> so this is the panel we're going to be working with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, trim it right close to where the color starts. Um, if not like right on where the color is going to start. Let's just go desk for that for a second. So I'm going to trim this up and then we're going to do some measurements. Because when I sew this even with a quarter inch seam allowance, I don't want any bit of that white puckering through. Okay. I have three little colors I'm going to play with today. I have this like little minty kind of green, which really goes with the panel after I've just pressed it. Now let's just squish it, shall we? So you can see it kind of goes really nicely there. Let me just lay it over on top. And I do have some black and then I have this uh, swirly kind of funky, um, it's kind of got some tans and some browns in it, which kind of pulls out the colors in the bars. So yeah, we're going to play with those. We're just going to make some blocks and do some big, big chunks and have some fun. Okay. We're just going to, we're going to go with the flow. So I think with every bear quilt, you need a bear paw. So I'm going to make four bear paws the same size as I want my first border to go around. So if I'm going to make it an eight inch border, then I need to make like an eight and a half inch sort of bear paws for the corners. Okay. So, but what we could do is we can make the bear paw and then that can determine our length. Right. So no big deal. It does. It looks really pretty. It's called, uh, guess how much I love you, but I don't, it doesn't really say a color color, but it's Y, hold on, Y3084. So, and then some black. So, but I don't want like a, a super duper amount of black because I don't want it to take it away either. So, right. <clears throat> All right. So I think for my bear paw, I'm going to want, I think I want to do those two colors. So we'll cut some squares and we'll make some half square triangles so we can make four paws, one for each corner. Okay. I say this, but I mean this. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lois. I appreciate that. Thank you everybody for hanging out with me today. Hope you're having a good, uh, good weekend. The, the duck did taste good. I mean, we, we cooked it right, yeah. and it was cooked all the way. I, I cooked it. It said 180 on the package, but there was a lot of recipes that were um, said 165 because duck meat, the breast meat, is supposed to be, like, a little bit on the rare side. And I'm like, mm, I'm not completely comfortable with that. So I think it gets you, Nancy. They were starting to chip and flake again. I had no nail polish on them for the longest time because I'm used to no nail polish, so... All right, so let's uh, let's cut some of this and then we'll trim up that. Okay, so let's just pop this here, and then we'll move our little iron mat here. Uh, was there a pattern for the bear panel? I saw the bear paw blocks. There was a pattern for the bear. Hold on. Uh. Reading, sorry. I saw the and bear paw blocks. Oh, were they? Oh, well, maybe that's where I, saw, I got the inspiration from. I just figured hey, it's a bear panel. <laughs> we have to put we have to put bear uh, we have to put bear paws on it. <laughs> at least at least four. Yeah, no, that's and then just do some like strips, right? Like uh, it's not it's not going to be like overly complicated. And you, you should let your panel inspire you too, right? <laughs> Tracy, I'll tell me to try Orly Bonder for to help the polish stay on my nails. Oh, yeah? No, it was the polish that my nails were actually flaking. Like my nails were actually starting to snap and crack. And, yeah. And snap, crackle, pop is not good for nails. Okay, so if I wanted this to be like two, four, six, eight, so we could do, oh, sorry. I'm here, just cutting. 
I must have had a zoom her in for cross stitch Tuesday. Cross stitch, cross stitch Tuesday. Mm, a cheese container? Oh, <laughs> I know what those are. I'm just up by the door waiting for hubby to come back with the food. <laughs> oh, animals are so cute. How's Tracy Provis today? Did you see a sneak another? You have the same panel? I, uh, I, okay, awesome. I was gonna say, mm, how did you get that? <laughs> how did you get that panel? Just kidding. Uh, let's, let's do, let's cut these at three and a half strip. Maybe I'll clean up that edge first though. <clears throat> I'm to finish some crafts this weekend. Uh, one complete so far. Oh, nice. Picking the next one. Now, there you go. Line her up. <laughs> Line her up. Shoot that works in progress list down. Exactly. Yeah, I have to make sure both of these are ready to go for us when, when, we, uh, when we travel. So. I think I'm going to need to do two strips because I'm thinking that's going to give me one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're going to need at least two strips. <coughs> I can't myself feel it off. Really? Oh, really? I guess you're not. My, my, some people just pick at their nails. I, I don't. I never, I never have. I never chewed my nails either. I never... The only time you see me biting at my nails is usually I've got like, you know, the hang nail or the skin separates from the nail part there and it just kind of gets a little sore. Uh, when is the, oh, actually the wedding was last Saturday or last Sunday, sorry. It was on Sunday. There was some, some, some drama about it apparently too. All the guests were canceled and only the father of the groom and the grandmother of the bride we're allowed. That's it, too. <laughs> so, it went from like, I don't know, 100 and something to two. I can't wait to hear the details when I go visit. <laughs> yeah, I know, I, and I, I, yeah. Apparently it was some guest drama. So, yeah. Yeah, I know. Sad, sad they couldn't have the wedding day they had planned and desired for themselves. So. <clears throat> oh, so Terry, what's going on? I always use Sally Henson's myself, but it always, uh, but it's always uh, quick to get thick. Oh, okay. Oh, re I'll have to look that up. That nail polish or nail coat, for sure. I'm a little disappointed that you're already on... Uh, already, as I promised, we come cleaning the craft room. So, oh, <laughs> and, oh, you, you, you stream. Uh, no, no, you don't stream. You, um, you go back, right? You go back or spring forward. Sorry, tonight, don't you? I can't get it right. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm trying to form words in my head and read chat at the same time. Not working. Can't compute. Must read boot. <laughs> Hello, that Highland girl. Speaking of family, I met your cousin Kevin. Yes, did you? He's coming to Nova Scotia. Mm -hmm. Cousin Kevin. I, I, I already said it like last week. <laughs> I call, Actually, I called it the day after, or the, the stream after um, the, my first infusion when we met him on the side of the highway. That was a weird meetup. Wasn't planned. Clicks forward tonight. Okay, lose an hour. Yes, that's right. Oh, jo Andrea, how you doing? Howdy, howdy, howdy. I'm happy to see everyone. I'm happy to see you here, too. <coughs> Sorry. Hello, Nancy McNamara. How's it going? Anybody else I might have missed there? So, who's who's that uh, Highland girl? How, how, how do you know, Cousin Kevin? He's bringing her sister, his sister, or her sister. With words, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -mm. I 
Hello, Miss Claudette. Uh, I had a wedding drama. Fam, uh, sorry, hubby's family said they would not pay, but wanted to invite 25 people. <laughs> yeah, they're not having it. Back in the day of my nail polishing, I always finished with Sally Hansen top coat. <laughs> Could you see that too? His girlfriend is my sister's mom. Okay. So, I know that would make their sister too, would it not? I'm just oh. a... his girlfriend, right? No, I'm <laughs> See, you're reading it out, and I'm, and I'm trying to connect it. His girlfriend is my sister's mom. See, as long as it's not really okay, a bi biological. Okay, yeah, I'm like. <laughs> Again, can't compute. <laughs> I think I should just so take a cool. restart for today. Hmm? So that she's family then. Yes. Fantastic. We love family. Family, family. Family rocks. And so how, how did you hear of us? Clearly Cousin Kevin. Is he bragging again? <laughs> He's bagging, you know somebody who's on YouTube. <laughs> One, two, three. That's okay. I there's there's somebody who's like super duper popular and I think looks like cousin Kevin. One, two, three, four. One, two, sorry. One, two, three, and there we go. And a half. I may have too many, but that's okay. Hey Deb, how's it going? Um we had a meet Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> Strangely enough, <laughs> I gave her a quilt in a bag too. <clears throat> I had to do it really fast though because cousin Kevin only gave me like four day notice. <laughs> I was like, what? What do? <sighs> Stress. But she liked something I had already here that was already uh, printed up from the long arm, already stitched up. And I was just going to change it into totes. So I did that as like a big chunk of a quilt for like a lap quilt and then made the other half into a bag for her. So, okay. All right, let's do the same amount in the black, okay? And we just may have more. Oh, hey, Irish. Uh, let me know when you go on break. Last week I kept sewing and messed up. I was using Jack when you returned. Oh, no, okay. I, I, I hopefully we won't go on break. <laughs> Not too, too much. I don't really want to if I don't have to. He asked if I knew actually. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're like, no, I have no idea who that is. <laughs> we're, we're just a tiny little channel. Just a tiny little channel. Of no real significance. On the little corner of the internet. Is this only? No, it's actually not. You want to switch to outside camera so we can see that person? Oh, that's the selfie camera. Yeah, we've had, uh, you can see grass. The grass is starting to grow. We're loving it. Do, 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 loving it. Yeah, super, super happy with the, uh, the spring is springing and all that stuff and yes. We've been playing a lot in the house because it's been raining like crazy. We're like so done with it. And then I saw Allison's little video this morning. They had like big Easter plans to at the, the trailer park where they're at and to, <laughs> to, they're just going to get washed away now. Working hard again. Yeah, so Supervisor Sophie's always on duty. So now, these will never ever go to waste. So we're going to make some collage to the bare page. Okay, so we're going to add one of these and one of these together. We're going to sew down 
either side. Uh, I can't tell if there's a difference. Some batiks you can, some batiks you can't. Okay, so we're just going to put a seam on either side of that, and that's going to give us our half square triangle. Okay, so we're going to make a bunch of these. <laughs> going to load up and head home, are you? Yeah. That's got to be. Except spend such such a damper on the the situation, right? Um, <clears throat> which I think do I want to just put one line and so on a quarter inch of either side of that? Am I confident in that today? <laughs> Some days are better than others, people. Let me tell you. So let me just grab this in this. Okay. Oh, no. Need a bit bigger there. Okay, so just so a quarter of an inch on either side of that line. Yeah, I, I and I know it was guest drama, so I don't I don't think it was anything else related wise in regards to the, the this um, gift for the couple so I, do, I, do, I, I am curious of what happened but I mean if they don't want to share that's fine too right so because really it's none of my beeswax I'm just happy they're together you know and they whatever it was didn't make them say no to the whole day you know what I mean because some, some situations can do that when it comes to family or guests or something like that it can make you just say well maybe this isn't what we should be doing if this is what's happening, I'm glad they didn't give up on that, right? Because that, that goes down a lot on some weddings. <clears throat> hey, Kelly, hey, what's going on? Um, Pop, where is your boundary line? Oh, did you, oh, did you catch that or no? Uh, no, I didn't. You can, do you have a way to point at? So they can see them over. Well, you, I know you pointed with your head because <laughs> I've seen you. <laughs> it's starting to look like it is. It is Nancy. I'm so excited. I did though because I followed on and off for a while. Last time I turned, and you were making a FPP feather quilt. Uh, oh, the yeah, yeah, the um, the um, the tail feather. Yeah, rainbow, rainbow. That took a lot. That took a lot to finish. That was 75 of those to finish. And it took like an hour and a bit to do each one. There's a lot of flipping and flopping and ironing and flipping and flopping. And, and some words. We, we had words too. Some, some were good words and some were not so good words. <laughs> yeah, it's... Um, uh, supposed to be sunny with five today, I think. Oops. Um, but uh, it's been doing some crazy things. The pond was so alive with noise last night. It did sound like frogs, but maybe it was. I don't know. It was? It didn't sound like the frogs from the year before. Or the year before that, sorry. There was, uh, I don't know, it sounded weird. It didn't sound like frogs. Maybe, maybe it was the, yeah, maybe it wasn't their croak yet. It was like, beep, 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 or something, yeah. It's like, what the heck's making so much racket out there? Shush up! Don't you know it's night time? Get off my lawn! <laughs> okay, all right, now we're going to sew <clears throat> one of these and one of these, and we're just going to put her on down one side, and then flip, and then sew on the other side, okay? Let's get sewing. Don't you know when? Okay. Then we will put this back here because we're going to have to trim those and then press them. I know. Use the iron. The irony of it all. <clears throat> Can I go bank I'm just going to hang this up for a second. Okay. Until I have to do some trimming, I'll, I'll, I'll hang this up for now. Hello, Tony. Happy Easter to you, too. <clears throat> My son-in-law's father is introducing his new lady friend to his three sons and daughter-in-law and three grandkids. Poor woman. Bless her heart. 
Bless him for jumping in on that. Hey, Kelly, uh, and my culty friends. Hope you're all having a wonderful night. Day. I, am, I am, so far as you're good. You guys are here. You're here, right? Right? <laughs> no, it's all in your head. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna add some uh, pretty little blocks to this one. You don't need to see me, Toke. <clears throat> it is pretty, isn't it, Calier? I knew you would like that. I knew you would like that. Cheers, everybody. To a tea with less sugar. But gotta make changes. Right. Right. <clears throat> Yeah, you didn't, Highland girl. You didn't. Just left us hanging. <laughs> Hi, Jess. Please be Jess. I'm Laura Lynn. And that's Kent. And that's Sophie. <laughs> and Marcus is in the house. Cheers. And he just look. He looks just like me, but way cuter. Those ones are already had buddies attached to them. And then these ones have got to meet up. Okay. Yeah, cheers, everybody. Uh, sounds like Wayne's juicing me to his uh, four grown daughters and family. <laughs> hey, whatever works, and whatever time of your, the, of your life that you find love, that's, you know, that's all anybody could ever ask for. Right. Sorry, honey. Out of focus, you want to focus her up? Yeah. Oops, excuse me. If you can. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Uh, it doesn't look the same. It looks the same. Is that there? Or there? Yeah. yeah. Now I'm just going to chain these a bunch of these. So I'm going to kind of just focus with my head down. So get them all done. I did finish with last week's uh, project. It is on the wall already quilted, so, because we have to take a few with us when we go to Ontario. So, um, and that just, that's so you know, uh, there'll be two more Saturday streams and then we're on the road for one Saturday, back video or uh, living from uh, on location in Ontario, and then the other Saturday we're on the road again, headed home. So we won't be here for the 20th or the 3rd, is it the 3rd of May or the 4th of May, whatever the... But we will be there for the 27th. It'll be the 4th. We're coming to Ontario, uh, uh, Burlington, 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 why you want to hang out? We're right next to the um, the GO station in Burlington, if that helps at all. We've got a couple of uh, friends in the channel that we're going to hang out with. I'm hoping uh, Lori Clark, uh, Miss Practic uh, sorry, Craft a Simple Life, sorry. Miss Practically Creative, I was making you Ontario bound instead of uh, Florida bound. So, you know, in my mind you were coming. <laughs> sorry, I just looked you in there, Practically Creative. <laughs> Uh, I did realize, uh, she's like, I didn't know I was obligated to do that. <laughs> you know, um, and um, uh, Pat Strawhouse and uh, um, yeah, um, Marie France, if she wanted to meet up too. There's a few, we got a few, we got a few homies. Uh, Tracy Albert uh, is pretty much location bound, so if, if we traveled up there, I, I don't. I don't know when we would. I don't know when we could. You know, because we got plans to see Pop. That that's on the Pop's Pop, on the Sunday. After stream, so. Hey, Pauline Fru. There we go. When that's another. When that's another friend in Ontario is Miss Pauline Fru. Yeah, I met up. Uh, oh, 
Oh, no, yeah, that would have been hop, skip, and a jump for sure. Hey, and the Saint Who Bears. <laughs> That's it, you know, a bullet. <laughs> Only those who know know. Other than that, people think I'm crazy. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tony. It's actually a purple. It don't, seems to read blue on uh, camera, but it's actually a purple. I do have a blue, but it, I didn't like it, though, for some reason. It didn't look really all that great, so it didn't last very long. On. Sorry, honey? It looks purple. Oh, okay. But in the camera, it actually looks bluish. I'm just saying, from what I see in here, too. But it is purple. That's what they had for dinner last night. <laughs> what? Ah, 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 ah. It's the best chicken. So I have to tell you this story. Okay. So I was never really a big chicken fan. Like, I mean, it was fine. It was like, yeah, whatever. Chicken's chicken. Whoop de doo, right? And then, even with Swish, Swish LA, which Swish LA is not that bad, right? Blurple. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Blurple. Um, and then Pop had to go and do some work in Ottawa, Montreal, and, and Ottawa. And he says, oh, there's this great chicken place called St. Hubert's. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And then he'd go back a couple times to work, work stuff, and he'd always brag about this chicken place, St. Hubert's. I'm like, okay, whatever. And then we had the opportunity, we were going to a conference in Prince Edward Island in Charlottetown, and he didn't want to fly. So we thought, okay, well, we'll drive because it was our 2019, so it would have been uh, just before our 24th. So we said it would be a 24th wedding anniversary kind of little trip. We'd, we'd go across, drive from Ontario down, to, uh, down and over to Prince Edward Island. So we go and we, of course there's with the stop along the way because it's a it's a long drive for sure, and that night our the first night on our trip out. And we had the Saint Hubert's, I think yeah we know we ordered it to the the restaurant or the hotel because it was super easy and super fast. I fell in love with chicken. That was the best. I couldn't believe it. I looked at him and I went, oh my goodness, everything you said is so right. I'm, oh my, like, it was just like mind blowing, mind blowing the best chicken ever, right? And I'm not even, like, I don't even like Swiss Chalet's, like, magic sauce. I'm a rib sauce kind of girl on the chicken, right? So, and this sauce was like the bomb, like, the scrum de lion, and a coleslaw. Like, I was not even a big fan of the coleslaw either. But I, uh, this, this law was the best law I've ever slawed in my life. So, yes. And when we had friends here, uh, from California, Miss Alicine Stitchin, she's in the chat. She's probably on her way home though. Um, we made sure to take them on the, the three province tour of Nova Scotia when, uh, when we moved here. Uh, to, to, from Nova Scotia over to Prince Edward Island, through Prince Edward Island into New Brunswick, up to get chicken and Moncton and then back home. <laughs> that was a 12 hour tour. <laughs> Do 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 Hey Pat Riversider <laughs> Saying hello to everyone here, not chatting today, trying to clean up my sewing drawer. That seems to be uh the scheme of things. Uh, Miss Tracy Provis is supposed to be tidying up or was was trying to tidy up her space too. And I have to say I was out here for about an hour uh before stream tidying up my big bag mess. <laughs> Cause I took Friday off with the boys. I hung out with, actually, we hung out a little bit, but I, I more I did more chores. I vacuumed and mopped and washed walls and did dishes and, and stuff. All the stuffs. Made dinners. Now, this is probably more half score triangles than we need to make the paws, but doesn't mean we can't use them uh, in the next border part of the quilt, making some geese or just some blocks in a row or something, right? So we're just going to put them all together, pick up what we need, and go from there. This is supposed to be spontaneous, being creative, fun, just, you know, do whimsical. We're making, we know when we're doing bear paws, so let's, that, that makes sense. Okay, we've got the one side done. Now we're going to switch it around and do the others. Okay. 
Sounds like a few of you are trying to clean up the crash. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah, it will be worth the effort. You'll find things you missed. <laughs> hey, Beverly Atkins, how you doing today? Happy to see you. I thought we were talking about the fabric, and I thought, uh, well, that's black. What? What did I? Oh, I missed something there. I'm sorry. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday weekend. Um, the, sorry, the Easter weekend. I love St. Newberry's. <laughs> we have 10 minutes from my house. Um, and where are you along the trip back to Ontario there, Josie? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> A little scenic detour it's a good thing we don't live 10 minutes from there <laughs> yeah, yeah it is a good minute a, we'd be poor and b um yeah i'd be five thousand pounds no the chicken is good for you not that much <laughs> mm. i appreciate you saying that Catherine. i had fun making them and they were they're very useful for like i said we don't have grocery bags back here in canada anymore so you have to bring your own bags you're in Quebec City? <laughs> oh, this is maybe. Mona did what? If I missed you coming in earlier, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's exciting out with you guys today. We do have cloud cover, but other than that, it's actually looking kind of nice and springy like. So, we've had uh, geese uh, on the pond and ducks on the pond. There was a little, I, I, I'm not sure if they're making a nest. Marcus and I were watching them. Um, there also was a couple of kids, the like neighbor kids, uh, on our property walking near the pond too, and um, I made sure to literally, and I, I started to film them because I thought if you get too close to the pond, buddy, and I come out and tell you not to, you know, I'm not going to be responsible. So I filmed them until they were off the uh, the property. So. But we saw a, um, a pheasant, a couple of pheasants. Stardew Valley. And then he was playing War of War Thunder? Thunder? Thunder War? No. Thunder. Yeah, War Thunder. That's it, right? The little playing game? The playing game? He was asking for people to come and play with him. I'm like, I don't know how to play. I'll crash. I'll just hold you back, buddy. <laughs> I'm okay. Uh, eating food's nice. Nice. Awesome. I'm making some. Uh, have square triangles to make a bear paw block to go with the bear panel as a wedding gift to the couple that got married last weekend. But I'm going to take it with us when we go to Ontario. That's for the year. Sorry, for just a moment. Okay, so on the way there, got to enjoy this absolutely amazing chicken. Okay, I was so excited even on the way back to get to enjoy the chicken. Okay? I think we even brought some for, for, for Marcus on the way home, or did we not? I don't remember. I don't remember either. I think we did. I think we did. And he said it was a good chicken. So when we decided to move to Nova Scotia, my first thought was chickens on the way and then we went to how many chicken places is close to us and then we found one two and a half hours away which is doable and we have done we've gone up spent spent a, a night and then come back <laughs> enjoyed our chicken <laughs> and then and then went up and then bought another little chicken lunchy and came home <laughs> 
We've all got it. Okay. Now we're gonna snip these. I broke down and finally did it. I printed off a pattern, <gasps> ordered three different pieces of cloth, floss, and needles for the first cross stitch. Nice, Tracy H. Welcome to the club. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Okay, that. Okay, what, what sort of drunk baboons sew in here today? Like, seriously? Look at that. Look at that corner. That's a shiny object moment. It's like, ooh, wee! Okay, so we're gonna come back. We're gonna stitch back on. We're gonna go straight this time. Okay. There we go. That's not gonna make a square quilt if we have things like that happening. Okay. Okay, and then pressed out. That's gonna give us. What's that gonna give us? A three-incher. We like three-inchers. There we go. That'll do. Because that'll be three, six, nine, twelve, minus the this, then that, the one. Yeah, there you go. That's a good, that's a good chunk. <laughs> Don't ask about the pie, because I swear there was a seven in pie, but there is not. <laughs> There's not a seven involved. <laughs> I don't think I felt more of a dork in my life. <laughs> is, it, is it not seven repeat? No, no, it's not. <laughs> just, just so you know, it's not. Uh, I think the same drunk baboon has been sewing my stone. I know, right? <laughs> it's like, what the heck happened there? <laughs> it's like, okay, totally distracted on that one. <laughs> it happens, people. I've been in and out, left the chat playing. Okay, well, thank you. Appreciate that. Hey, Cindy Wall. Hello, everyone. Happy ha happy hop day. Hoppity day. <laughs> hip hop, hoppity hip, 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 hippity hop. Don't throw a hippo. That's all I got to say. I was boogie woogie into our uh, new intro tunes earlier. Pop's like, careful, careful. <laughs> I think the cross-eyed drunk baboon's been in the middle of my cart room. Oh no! Oh no! Squirrel sewing, you betcha, babe. You betcha. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> Bunny rabbits and chicks, that's so cute. Happy Easter, y'all. <laughs> uh, the clippity clopped over the keyboard, forcing me to lose spelling. <laughs> I, I survive with autocorrect. Except when it doesn't do you right. When when it trolls you, then no, it's not fun. Don't be throwing a hippo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boogie woogie, yeah, right? I was like, you know, it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Slow your roll, lady. Get a little too excited. I was transitioning from piece to piece because a couple of them were like that, but most of them are good. But you should focus a little bit more on the piecing part so don't make mistakes like that. I know lots of people have panels uh, and they just don't know what to do with them. 
So, and we've, that's been one of our challenges in trying to conquer and give ideas since the dawn of our channel is working with panels, what to do with them. Most times we're following a, a pattern or we're not. So we've mixed a bit of our own, usually in every little thing, because that's just how we roll. Wake up. Wake up. <clears throat> These two I'm going to fix because they just need a little tweaking. They're just a little too shy, shy. Hush, hush. I don't know. Waiting. Oh, watching Harry Potter, listening to this live stream, and making my Italian cookies for tomorrow. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Found it, had to type rabbit, not bunny. Ah, yeah, sometimes you gotta, it's all about the wording, right? Okay, all right, let's have some tea. We'll wait for the last few moments for that to heat up here. And then we will press these guys. <laughs> mm. I supposed to make one of those secret collab blocks come out at 20 and a half inches. Mine was 19. Oops. <laughs> well, it's, it's a good cuddle uh, size, too, that I think we're going to end up making. It starts off pretty good. It's pretty long. So what we need to do is kind of bulk it out a little bit this way. Yeah, it's tea time. Earl Grey there, Mr. Taradra. Earl Grey. I'm trying to reduce my sugars, though, so it doesn't have as much sugar, so it's not, like, super peppy like I like. <laughs> but we're surviving. <laughs> it's nice and warm. Got mushroom panel from Light in the Box. Nice. Also Highland Cow panel. I uh, still have one coming. Don't remember what it is. Oh, it'd be a surprise, Deborah. <laughs> Get some Splenda. No, I don't want any chemical stuff. If anything, I might try and go either honey or maple syrup for a little bit and then try it. I'm trying to wean myself off. Pop's been doing so good with his diabetes and stuff of cutting all his sugar out and most of his carbs and stuff. So he's doing, he's doing really well. And I just want to, want to keep up with them or he's going to surpass me. <laughs> we can't have that. <laughs> Thinking about using panels to make some of the bags you made. Oh, that would be a great idea. That would be a good idea. Stevia is good, not chemicals. I use, okay, we do have a bag of that in the in the in the cupboard there Pauline because we did use that to make some cookies I made some chocolate chip cookies for Christmas for the boys and we used that that sugar so making doggy uh, sorry making doggy adult bibs for an upcoming flea market while listening and watching multitasking too very nice thank you Peggy I appreciate that okay get your stuff done right hello my cool projects cheers been sewing and listening applique stitching nice nice mm -mm. okay let's press these We're going to press to the dark, okay? So just a little bit to the dark side. Whoa, whoa, press into the dark side. Whoa, whoa. There we go. Okay. So we're going to need four for each paw. And we need to make four paws. So that's going to be our one, two. Yeah, and you can even make the bags even just a little bit bigger. You know, make the like scoop them around just a bit bigger if you wanted to. You know, and then the handles, the handles that way are so so easy to deal with as far as I'm concerned. Instead of trying to pin them all the way up from the base to the top, and then of course the either way you want to do the handles on that bag too is is also handy. So okay, so that's one, two, three, four. So that's two paws. Oh, did I press that wrong? I did. Whoops. Whoops. All right. Now it's going to be trying to persuasion of getting it back. Uh, this is uh, Northcott. Northcott's. Uh, I, I have a, a businessy thing I'm bobbing with, uh, with Northcott. Northcott so I, because of the quilt shop and stuff. So I usually buy bolts from, from them. 
Yes, even the batiks here are from them as well. And I get my wide backs from there as well because I'm a long armor, right? So I get, uh, I have like long, like, ah, wide backs. And I prefer to put wide backs on my quilts at, at, at all possible, right? But that's, that's just, that's just me, right? So that's one paw. We'll clip off the ears. Two paws. Three paws. Four. Okay, so we got lots. Okay, what the heck was I talking about or thinking about? Okay, so we'll clip those that we need. Uh, does your Panasonic iron have a steel sole plate or a ceramic one? Um, oh, steel. Steel. I I think it's ceramic coated though. Okay, Pop says he thinks it's ceramic coated though. Hey Laura, I've been watching and loving your videos. Kelly, oh Kelly, um, the quilts at Chrissy. Yes, she's fantastic. She's doing such a good job over there. Now these, if my quarter inch seam allowance was is pretty good, uh, they should all be about the same, and I think we're. We're okay there. Okay, so let's uh, let's just keep snipping. Make sure we we know what we have for our paw parts. That might be a smidgen bigger because it looks like a little bit narrow on the seam allowance there. Hold on. Ooh, see, just that smidge, just a smidge a bit. You and I. Thought so because it looked like the seam allowance was just narrower. There we go. Uh, I may have to do an order and try them. I'm really not thrilled with Kona's inconsistency. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't think I've, I've only used Kona in uh, kits that were uh, either I purchased or that were gifted. But other than that, I, I honestly prefer. I've never had any issues in like the eight years we've been dealing with them. So. Uh, there was some Canada fabric. I think it was for 2017 when it was Canada's 150th birthday. There was some red with maple leaves on it. Actually, do I have the bag here? Oh, no, it's my cross stitches in the house in it. Um, and they had where it hadn't printed all the way on the red side, so it was really, like, faded and, and stuff like that. They gave the bolt. I think the bolt was supposed to be... I don't know, 13 meters or something like that. All in all, there was about 14 and a half because of the little blurp in the center of the bolt. And that was the only one that I've ever had a bolt that was actually pieced. It was, it was pieced out it was halfway and then they had that big chunk of fabric that they just left in there that didn't print properly and then rolled it up more, so. Okay, who made this mess? Seriously? We just cleaned up this place. <laughs> Who's on cleaning up duty? Who signed up for today? The sheet was on the wall. I don't see any signatures. So disappointed today. I'm kidding. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Okay. No pressure, right? No pressure. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, tap it out. Nope, just just so we know, I am not it. <laughs> Last time I went to buy a Kona Black, I could see a lot of lot through it. So thin and loose weave. I did. Oh, really? See, there's only been one issue that I have to say that I, that made me annoyed with um with with Northcott, and and it could be my own because I I didn't actually. I don't even think it was on the the link to what the fabric was anyways it showed up being rayon instead of cotton so i was a little m miffed but i did make the best of it and i've made an in like i've used it for an inside to a jacket to a fox jacket that i made so that's really nice and it does make lovely lining to bags so 
and I could line my jacket when I'm done with my half square triangle jacket. I can line it with that as well. So, you know, it's not like a, a major, major loss because I did get it at a good price. And it's nice to have that bit of a luxurious fabric like a rayon to work with sometimes. So. Speaking of fun fabrics to work with, is Miss Nadine in the chat? <laughs> Uh, can't buy any more fabrics. I hate putting it away. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? Exactly. Oh, ah, passed the wrong way. Oh, no. Back up, back up, back up. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. You get into a groove and then you do a wrong move. <laughs> I test this trigger so you're going to see something pop up. I'm going to see something pop up. Like in my eyeballs or like on the screen? <laughs> Bob is so techy, I just never know what he's feeding me. <laughs> so that way. I sent you and Kent an email to give you the web address for company to buy a fashion show. Oh, thank you, Pauline. Appreciate that. I buy my fabric from Funky Monkey Fabrics. They are in Ontario online store. Oh, really? I'll have to check them out. We're pretty much online only as well but just for entertainment value. How's that working out? <laughs> what I find is when I'm done a project is like, what do I do with all the bits that I don't really want to deal with right now, right? So I want to put them in a bucket and then be able to deal with that bucket at a later date. That, that's my philosophy. <laughs> That's what, that's what, it, it sounds good in my head, okay? <laughs> it sounds good in my head. Okay, we got lots to work with. I don't want to make any more bear paws out of this, but I'm happy to make some geese and some just... Some nice, uh, you know, sections where, you know, the blocks are all together. Have some fun. That's what your trash cans were. No, I mean, these are like bigger chunks, though. Not just throw away. Not throw away, throw away. <laughs> okay, so now we have, uh, we'll need, hold on. We need for, for our fingers. We need our, for our fingers. We got to go this way and this way this way nope dork dork no, that's not it either oh my goodness I'm having a moment here okay so we need our big square here and then our little square there Scrappy binding. I love scrappy binding. That's not, it's not scrappy, that one behind me on the wall. It's just a piece. It's actually one of the panels all chopped up. Hey, Maritza, you're in a craft. Said hello, hello. Hola, she says. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to make a table topper or a mug rug. So set for, for what? Oh, you mean for from this stuff? Oh, no, it'll go into the blocks and stuff. Yeah, no worries. No worries. There's a plan, sort of. Okay, so I want to, let's do this as the paw and square part. So if we put two of these together, which those are not the two we're working with here. Those are not the joints you're looking for. Oh, 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 sorry. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. What is that going to give us? And then that determines what sort of square we're going to need for our inside. So in this one we know is already coming out at three. We got our thingies the right way? I think so. So I'm going to say a five and a half inch square. So that's a nice charm size. But we'll see. We'll see when we get there. 
Little Beaster Queen. Good afternoon, everyone. Give it a thumbs up for the... Oh, well, I appreciate that. I appreciate that very much. Papa and I do. We work, we work hard. Or hardly work. What's, what's really the deal? It's actually five and like a smidgy wedge. So, actually, no, five and a half. Five and a half. Five and a half. We can make it work with five and a half. So, at five and a half. So we need to do two, a couple of sets of the left and a couple of sets of the right. I do have my paw the right way, don't I? Yes, that's how it goes with a square here and a square there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and puppets. And puppets. And puppets coming in. Okay, this one's a little bit big, so we're going to trim it up. Mm -mm -mm. Well, it's so nice outside uh, here in Georgia, 74 degrees, but the pollen is so bad. I've been having sneezing fits for days. Oh, I'm so staying in making quilt sandwiches. The rack just went nice. Nice. Do you do, like, is that what you practice, like, free motion quilting, or are you doing some real ruler work? What's, what's your dealio? Okay, make sure those are where I want them to go again. Got them all mixed up. Okay, there we go. So we need four on that side and four on the other side. So that is two, three, four, five, six, So far, I have a large rubber-made storage bin full of fabrics and about 30 books, magazines to take to quilt camp on Wednesday. Oh, nice! Along with my most of my fabric scraps, the ladies can have them. How <laughs> they want, right? <laughs> I've got a, a big plastic bag here so far, ready to for somebody to claim, but I still want to make a few more. <laughs> a few more need to be uh, accumulated in that pile. Uh, my energy level has been really low the past couple weeks. Normally I've kind of picked up by now, but for some reason I'm still kind of sluggish. Oh well. Okay, now we're going to press all these open. Okay. Do, 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 do. Kathy Quilts and Crafts, Kathy Quilts and Crafts, Kathy Quilts and Crafts, Kathy Quilts and Crafts. She's on vacation. Yes, yeah, she is. She is. She's on vacation. Where, where did she take us? Where did she take us? <laughs> Not a great fan of female motion quilting, but it helped me with a ton. Hold on, on trying to do cursive uh, using. Yes, that. Yes, exactly. Yep, yep. Just like as you would. Uh, that's how I, I was teaching myself and tips and tricks for other people and learning to use the long arm uh, and, and for free motion quilting was definitely uh, was uh, following the E's and the L's and the like write your name out write somebody else's name out so. okay so we got our bobs we got our bobs and we got our bits do, 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 do. Okay, all right, so that and that. So we need five and a half, four squares for the that, and then a three for the top. And then that is our paw done, okay? So let's cut that. First, we'll move all these by guys over here. Take our small one. This one will back over here. Okay. 
It's 90 here in the ocean. I think it's only, it says 4 degrees Celsius uh, and cloudy here for Picto, Nova Scotia. Yeah, we're adding blocks that we're making up to, to go with this panel behind me right here. That's what we're working on, my friends. Yes, yes. Come, stitch with me. Let's make a mess. Make sure. Double, triple check. Double, triple check. Double, triple check. Double, triple check. Okay, we could definitely get four out of that, so we just need one and two, and then we could probably get our other squares out of that two to three inches, because we just need four of them. Okay, so let's just pop that right off to the side for right now. Use our shorter ruler. Uh, you must watch Angela. No, I, I don't. Uh, who's she? Oh, that's the Midnight Quilter? Yeah, no, I don't. I don't really watch her. Never really got into her actually. One, two, three, four, five, half. One, two, three, four, five. There we go, right at half. Okay, there we go. Just make a chair. Double, triple check. And I find that this pink cutting board, or purple cutting board, with the sections every half an inch, where normally it would be just the one inch on the green and then like a little notch for where it was a half, and you would just line up with the notches on each little section. Um, yeah, I, I really have to just triple checking that I'm on the right spot, because these all these lines are just, it's kind of, it's still relatively new to me. And the last thing I want to do is, you know, waste fabric which is never never ever a fun thing to do mm -hmm. you used to watch her all the time yeah but yeah doing doing the cur cursive is definitely the easiest way to to learn Pause together. It's happy pause, y'all. There we go. That's kind of cute. Is that going to be good enough? Hold on, let's do that. Is that cute enough, Pa? Oh, thank you, Pastry Queen. I appreciate that. It was a very fun project. Uh, there was a couple of problems with the pattern, though. It uh, there was a couple of boo boos. Instead of 28, it's actually 38. And so that means you need like an extra two cuts on your with the fabric, which is um, five, I think, five inches or something like that. Five and a half, yeah. Okay, cool. We'll put that together then. Okay, so we'll add this section that we've already attached. We'll put it to this one, and then we'll stow that to there, and then we'll just add these guys, okay? So we'll just do all four of them at the same time. Well, not obviously through the machine at the same time, but we'll feed them through. Okay. Hello, Jacqueline. Hello from Oklahoma. She says hello from Oklahoma. Hello from Picto, Nova Scotia. Welcome, welcome. This is our uh, beautiful scenery right here out the back. You can see the green is just popping up. We the, the snow pile that was way up in the back field there has finally disappeared. <laughs> So we know spring is a coming. Spring is a coming. Spring is a coming. Now we've had quite a bit of activity on the pond, which is so nice to see. I missed it all last year, so it's so nice to see it this year. We've uh, seen the pheasants and geese and ducks and um, foxes and 
uh, this big huge packs of the starlings uh, land there and in the back end in the front. It's, it's actually kind of weird to be outside on the deck and have them swoop around the house. <laughs> it, it sounds really weird. <laughs> have them swoop around the house. Hello Jane Richie. Good evening everyone she says. Have you all in the craft room now? The paper tray on my printer makes a great uh, iPad. So <laughs> I think that's a future video for you there, Miss Kelly. It's making an iPad stand. There you go. Because I know a lot of people could use that. Especially if they just don't want to buy one, right? There is means. Our iron is hot. Okay, let's put these ones to the side and we'll add our little squares onto the sides of these guys, okay? Is she not on anymore there, but it's practically creative? Does she have to just not do her thing anymore? I know she was with Missouri Star, wasn't she? We had uh, a couple of guild members. Um, uh oh, please tell me I'm doing this on right thing. Uh, in the Erin Village Quilters Guild, I remember them talking about her one night. So, and they they just assumed I was a fan of hers. I'm like, well, why do, why would you just assume that? I don't even know who you're talking about. <laughs> Not everybody's gonna know everybody else, okay? <laughs> Seriously. YouTube's like a phone book. Not everybody's gonna know everybody. Oh, all right, now let's press these guys here and then we'll add them to our bottoms. Yeah, other than that, we really don't have any uh, big plans. I dragged Pop out this morning to do some tidying up. We went to the... I took him out on a date. Yeah, I, and I even bought him breakfast. So there we go. I'm sure he would have chosen better places to hang out than the waste management facility. But hey, some place is better than no place, right? Am I wrong? Only the pishy poshiest places for pop. <laughs> Let's go to the waste management facility, darling. <laughs> mm -hmm. Was still doing videos, but I think she's doing a lot of merch now. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna take our bottoms and add our top, and really we just need to make sure that this little seam right here. That one right there is it. It's coming together. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Let's see what I'm doing here. Oh, uh, take care, Nadia. You too. You have a great weekend. You got any big plans? Okay, so we'll just pop a pin. We'll just flip and flop that seam. See the black is to the one side, and then this side we'll flop it. Pop our little seam right in there. And then lay flat. Okay. I'm using some coupons. Date is a date. Right, Cindy? Right. <laughs> date is a date. I bought a breakfast. <laughs> no, we had, since his uh, chair that came a couple weeks ago was it was like a really thick box with like lots of boxy bits in there too. So it was full. And then we had the chair, uh, another chair box. No, it wasn't a chair box. It was something else. Um, oh, it was my, was it Marcus's was chair, box? chair box? Oh, the previous chair box. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So that was still hanging around. And then we cleaned up a couple other bigger boxes that I knew wouldn't get uh, picked up on garbage recycle day. So, all right. So now those are done. Got the stitch there and then we'll stitch along the side. Okay. Does it lurk it? Okay. <laughs> Afraid not? <laughs> no? Yeah, we're just, we're just, and then uh, Sunday's always a uh, family day here, like between the three of us. We either try to go out for breakfast, but tomorrow's Easter Sunday, so probably not. Um, and uh, it's for a family game day, so.
last week we were we finished in shrouded i mean we killed the last boss so but there's a whole bunch of side quests we still have to do so i'm kind of looking forward to that the game was making me feel a little ill if we played too long so, or if i played too long sorry correction Hey, pro tip everybody, uh, if you iron your seams, they lay flat. Just thought I'd throw that out there. <laughs> Boys were giving me a hard time about ironing. <laughs> Define too long. <laughs> yeah. Um... Uh, five hours, four or five hours. That's about all I can handle before I feel still a little ill. I used to say, I, no, I, I'm wrong. I, that would be like total in a day. And there's usually like an hour or two break in between. So, you know, about three hours and then, yeah, <laughs> pro tip, right? <laughs> uh, about three hours is about all I can really handle. So. That's okay. We're looking for the next... We actually have another game we can go back to, which is uh, Elden Ring. Because there's still a bunch of baddies in there we haven't. Where are you coming from, Fly? What? What? Oh, I saw Fly. <laughs> Seriously, I know. All the tips and tricks here at this place, people. Mark it. Mark it. <laughs> hey, Deborah, how you doing? She said, well, you can't fool me. I know it's Deborah. I know it's Deborah. Okay, just got a little trim up there, but that's okay. All right, four paws done. Okay, so now let's let's do a mm, let's do a nine patch to go on either side. So that means we need two, four, six, eight. Okay, let's do a nine patch on either side and we'll do it with the black and the light green. Okay, and we'll keep our numbers consistent because if we did three, three, and three like these are right here, that means our nine patch is going to fit perfect and bang on. Okay, so that's what we'll do. That's our cut. We'll do a nine patch. So we've got bear paw, nine patch, and then we can do some strips. Okay. So that's going to be good. Going to be at least a couple. So so far of the yardage, I have cut three strips. So two strips at three and a half, and now two strips at three for the black, so. Yes, happy Easter. Uh, are the donations for to No, we stopped doing that, uh, that Highland girl. Um, last 12 year, hour streams. yeah, the 12 hour streams, we stopped doing that. We only do six hours and it's once a month and I, we don't take any donation anymore. I do it for, yeah, which really puts a big damper on the whole um, trying to earn income on YouTube. <laughs> That went extremely in the negatory department all last year, but I, I if I can't do the twelve for the for the thousand dollars that we used to raise, I'm not going to do it. My health is far more important. So you can still donate to the yeah if the, if they want to, they can totally donate to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated, because trust me, I'm in the negative. <laughs> But I certainly don't want to sound like I'm begging, so. Alright, I think it is 
couple of sips of tea time. All right. Cheers, everybody. Hey, Miss Eddie, I actually was calling for you earlier. Can I can I show your project? Can I show my challenge? Oh, thank you. Big hearts. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. Thank you, thank you. Awesome. I will. <laughs> I will. Absolutely. Okay. Now, I was given a challenge by Miss Nadine to take a jersey. You know jersey, right? Stretchy, wetchy jersey. And make a bucket hat. Do you think I was successful? It's a hat. Of course you were successful. Still has the pin in it. For I need to seal it up. But... Custom made bucket hat. Okay, here, I'll take the little pin out because I don't think I had to seal it up. No, okay. And there and there. And I'm sure he won't. I'm, I have clean my hair. So I'm not going to put it all the way on. But. Okay, so this is made out of a jersey. Pardon? Got to test it. I got to test it. I don't want to pop it all in my head. So this was from the back, and it was specific. Where these went on the hat were very specific. This is what the customer wanted, okay? So the only thing that I couldn't do was with this band, okay, and you'll see why here, okay. I tried though. It took me forever to take this off the front of the jersey and not rip the bejeebies out of it. So what they had wanted was the band to go, oh, sorry, to go, to go around the bottom part here to have this 17 kind of at the back here and then going around but as this doesn't fold I had to put this lay on, label on straight so I couldn't actually curve it it actually ends up covering part of the tag so we opted to not have that on there we took the check mark from the back put it up here on the back part there the tatum is on the side and then the zero at the top and then the rest is all the jersey and then I yeah so jersey bucket hat people It is possible, okay? This is heavy stabilizer in here, okay? And I can even show you right there, it's a little, because the gap is still there, okay? I did find it a little tricky in some spots because it's Jersey. I'm trying to make it go in a circle and Jersey doesn't really want to work that way. I, I did the best I could. It is a little bit, but overall, really, that's, that's pretty much me's balling. Uh, no, it wouldn't, it wouldn't even, like, even, uh, yeah, they just, they opted for without, so. Yeah, pretty good, eh? Thank you for the super chat. It's a swooch. Okay, a swoochy then. Oh, thank you, Deborah Davidson, for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you, I really appreciate that, people. Oh, it's a swoosh. Okay, a swoosh. A swooshies. <laughs> so, yeah, that was my challenge, so I chose to accept it. <laughs> I'll be mailing out on Tuesday. <laughs> I love it. He loves it. Uh, thank you, Miss Nadine. I appreciate that. And thank you for uh, believing in me that I, that I could do that. So she said, uh, she asked me earlier about a month or so ago, and I'm like, yeah, send it. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm sure we could do it. <laughs> if you want this to happen, girl, I will try my best to make it happen. <laughs> Which way should we do? Should we do this 
to have more green than black. We'll have more green than black on the patches. Yes. So that means that and that and that and that and that and that. Right, right. One, two, three, four. Hold on. One, two, three, four. Four, four. Because so that's half done. All right, we may have to cut some more cream. Because it is the one we're using the more of the blocks of. Definitely need to cut more, more black and green. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You name it. You can just check out our. Um, yeah, we do uh, custom. We have got quite a few people in our chat that have had their quilts done here too. So my batter's at it again. <laughs> it looks pretty good. Well, I appreciate that. I I tried hard. Trust me. <laughs> Trying to get everything to tweak and fit was like, okay. <laughs> Got this. I'm like, I'm not giving up. I got this. <laughs> oh, thank you, Paula Whedon. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Guys. Thank you for the Kofi donation. Yes, thank you very much for the Kofi donation. I was trying to figure out what that was. I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got a little confuzzled. It's okay. least one more of the black. Oh, and I was I wasn't giving up there, Nadine. Though I knew we could. It's questions just how to, how to get it. And of course, I was trying to do it the best I absolutely possibly could because I wanted I want I want you to be proud. So, you know. Let's cut those little buds up and make our nine patches. It just have some fun with the, the fabric, right? Let the uh, panel speak to you. I mean, if it's kind of basic and, you know, not too complicated, then just go for some basic, not too complicated blocks, you know? We know how to put things together. We don't always have to follow a pattern. I mean, really, what is a pattern? Just something that's telling you what to do. And I don't like people telling me what to do at all. <laughs> at all. <laughs> so I barely read a pattern. <laughs> <laughs> Pop would say, I think you need to get up now. I'd be like, really? You say those words to me? Come on over here, say that. No, I wouldn't. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. All, right, all fluff. I'm all fluff, I tell you people. Okay, so one and one. And there and there. So that's six. We've got seven. Oh, she eight. reads them and One. then ignores them. What are we talking about? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh, God. Everybody got five greens and four blacks. Greens. Five greens and four blacks. Five greens and four blacks. Gonna make us an eye patch. Five greens and four blacks. Okay, alright, let's pop those off to the side. It's not saying we won't use them, just not read the moment. <laughs> Pattern schmattering. It's just a general idea, isn't it? <laughs> And 
am just using um, just gray thread. this one the first one that we did because we're going to keep our nine patches together we're going to take our green and pop it on the other side and then the next one down we'll take the black and pop it on the other side okay and then the last one be the green on the other side and that's our nine patch all together Sorry, snorry snowfies. Hmm. You know, there's a couple other games that we were uh, that we have on our list of uh, playing together as a family. So. And it's easier to play with family because it's easier to go on the side quest. Uh, you know, family's all with you right there. Sometimes when you're playing with your friends, they don't always want to go on the side quests. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate all the donations that come to the club shop. It's really greatly appreciated. It does help keep the lights on. And, uh, yeah, it's just uh, really nice. Really nice of you. You can hear her? Soapy Snore channel all the time. <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> These are funny. Cutting fabrics and listening. Very nice. Very nice. Are you cutting fabrics for something specific there, Miss Kelly Copton Cruises? And did you, uh, did you get your bags done? You got, because uh, you're daughter just went on a, a trip about right so did you get her bag was a bag for that or was it for something else or was it friends no it's for friends that you're going on a trip with right I wanted, I wanted to see those bags I'm buying bag hardware and watch it oh nice like what kind of bag hardware like uh, the feet I, I've uh, I've got the feet to do like the professional tote um, and some like magnet clasps things too. And this is the first time I'll ever be using those as well. So I'm kind of kind of excited because it's kind of scared all at the same time. <laughs> Welcome to life. Oh, so yeah, doing a thing today right now? 
I'm back and I had to go to uh, go and shop and inadvertently promised the family a roast dinner tomorrow when I'll be cooking for 13. Yikes, I haven't done that in years. Oh no. Oh no. You're like, what did I just say yes to? <laughs> You're like, wait a second, back that thought up. <laughs> I meant I will cook the roast and have it at somebody else's house. That's <laughs> More bags to come for friends cruise. Oh, there we go. I knew it was something. It's like, okay, that would have been too quick for her to get those done before the one that she just, their daughter was on a trip now. So, oh, I just left. Or, sorry, I just come back from the trip. Sorry. I'll get it right. Words are hard. Sentences are harder too. I have tons of hardware, but still like a sale. Yes, I have two devices going. Good <laughs> 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 Yeah, here. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, right? She is kind of smushed. I refluffed her bed, so it's all fluffier now, right, Monty? <laughs> I restuffed it. I cut a bunch of those little odd, weird bits from uh, the log arming, the batting and stuff. I chopped them up all really tiny um, and put like a whole bag in there and, and left it all fluffed for her. So, ooh, I don't like that one. That is, oh, this edge. Okay. I know. And you're cutting fabric too? Nice! Oh, I was just going to change it. Thank you. She's going to mush straight in there. Yeah, so I, I fluffed her up a little bit. Because it was getting a little saggy. It's been two and a half years, so... Almost. Three done, four done, four to go. Okay. Yeah, we had a good time playing last weekend too, because it was uh, 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 Munchkin's birthday weekend. It's actually my sister Elizabeth's birthday today. I have to call her and wish her a happy birthday after stream. Hope she's having a good day. I remember as a kid being a little miffed when it came to her her birthday and Easter being so close together because she'd always get like extra stuff and I didn't understand why. <laughs> like why? Why she got extra chocolate bunny? <laughs> oh, 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 brain fart moment. Brain fart moment. Back that thought up. One, two, three. Oops. <laughs> You're not sewing twos together here, Laura Lynn. You're making nine patches. Refocus. <laughs> Excuse me. Nope, nope. <coughs> it's a one for... Lee Allen, uh, it's taken a long time. We are part of the Eclipse area. Oh, right, on the 8th. That's right, that's right. I don't know if we're actually going to see any of that here. We're, we'll have partial. We'll have partial? Yeah, on the 8th. Lots of employers and schools are taking the time off uh, to, to be able to enjoy that once in a life. Thank you. Appreciate that. Snuck out. Sneezies. Okay, I'm usually only a one sneezer, two timer most most of the time. Uh, so when people sneeze like lots of time in a row, I think they're broken. So <laughs> are are you a, a one timer, two timer, or like a a lot of sneezer? <laughs> Always makes me curious when people are super, super sneezers, just like a one sneezer. First time I met someone that was a super sneezer was Pop's Grandma Rose. And I literally thought she was having a fit. I'd, I'd never seen anybody sneeze so many times in a row in my life. I, I, was, I was looking at her husband and, and Kent, uh, like Pop, looking like, is something happening to her? And they're like, like nothing's going on. It's no big deal or whatever. And I'm thinking the woman's melting. Like I'm thinking she's like going to combustulate, you know? <laughs> 
Plastik. A three timer? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's how we we celebrate Easter exactly. Hope you're having a good day, a good weekend, and hopefully the sunshine holds for some people. It's getting kind of lucky for others, but yeah, we are supposed to be in for rain tomorrow as well. I think we're going to get some sunshine a little bit on Tuesday and Wednesday, but then it's back. To, actually, it says snow on Thursday. So that that's what we have to look forward to this week: a snow on Thursday. <laughs> Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but definitely it's definitely for snow accumulation on Thursday. You're broken. <laughs> My hubby has multiple sneezers. He must be broken. I know, right? I just kept looking at Pop's grandma going, like, is she like busted? Like what happened to her? <laughs> what why is why is she doing that? <laughs> I'm like, is that gonna we've got to fix her? <laughs> The Heimlich maneuver, something. <laughs> no, I'm liable to choke. My daughter sneezes seven or eight times in a row. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Three times, yeah. I used to thought if I sneezed three times, I was definitely going to be lucky. So, hey Sherlock, how's it going? Alright, this is, uh, I think we got one more. Okay, so this would be seven. Seven out of the eight nine patches. Alright, we're going to do one on either side of the bear paw. Okay. So that makes it that we have some, a good, you know, already 16 inches covered on each side. And then we do some long strips in between. Maybe... And then the next row, we could do some flying geese or something. This is almost a little, it's a light, kind of hard to tell which side is which. Which, which is which? I've always heard when we sneeze, our heart stops, so it, that it, was it God bless you? Oh, really? Oh, I didn't realize that. That's why they said God bless you. It did make me wonder. And is it customary for people to say thank you? I mean, because I, I know some people you say bless you to and they just ignore you. They just look at you. <laughs> right, Tradra? <laughs> You're listening. Looper's trolling. <laughs> You say thank you? Yeah, okay, that's right. I was told to. I was always told to say thank you if somebody blessed you. The Pope or otherwise. Okay, now we can start. Now we got the little bits, the rows together. We just need to put it together. 
Let's wake up our little iron here for a moment. And we will press those. Because we are dealing with the light green and the black, we do want to push towards the black, okay? So the darker of the two colors. Yeah, this one I didn't grab because it had the uh, salvage of it on the end. So, no, no, no. Okay, there's our little paws. So those will go up here. Okay, like up in those corners right up there. And then we'll put our four, our nine patches on the either side of them. Okay, and then we can put a nice big strip in between, maybe of the, the green fabric. Hello, Miss Bernadette, how you doing? Now, the, for those of you who actually uh, skip forward on time for tonight, for tomorrow, uh, we're, we'll, we're still streaming uh, at nine, uh, at, sorry, at Eastern timeline. So I guess maybe just Google to make sure that you don't, you don't miss. Cause I know when we sc uh, scooted forward, lots of people were, were missing stuff. And we do have our uh, member zoom this Wednesday as well this week. Right. So I don't want anybody missing out. So if you scoot ahead, make sure you're, you're paying attention to, uh, if you're following anything Eastern or central or wherever, just make sure you're, you can check, check with them. Or check with the time zone. Mm, go make the bed. Happy Easter. Oh, you too there, Miss Kelly. You have yourself a great day. Thank you very much. I had fun on your live yesterday. It was nice to be able to catch it. I even set an alarm on my phone, so when you weren't right on at 12, it kind of threw me off. I was like, wait a second, did I miss it? What time is Zoom? Um, what works for you, Lois? Oh, but I gotta go. Okay, you do take care there, Kathy. Have a great weekend. Enjoy your vacation. Anything. Anything? 3 Pardon? She said anything. So 3 a.m. <laughs> um, so Pop will be hosting Zoom this time at <laughs> 3 a.m. <laughs> That's funny. It's party with pop. <laughs> that works. <laughs> she says that works. <laughs> Whatever. What is Charlotte Vander? What would what would work for Charlotte Vander work on the Zoom? Hello, Lucy. Be hey, girl. I hope you got my message. I have your package. It got sent back to us. So I'm like, maybe I had it wrong. Hold on. What did I? I had it. Here it, is. Here it is. So this this was your package, and it came back. So I don't know if I had the wrong address or something. So could you resend me your address? Because it says can this package cannot be delivered until the oh it had a fee to it. Why import duty? Well, it's always going to have... Oh, there. it had import duty fees on it, so maybe you didn't get a notice or something? I Trust me, I didn't want it to be that way. So, yeah. So I guess when it didn't get paid, it came back to me. Royal Mail, not collected. And that was June... Tw sorry, uh, August 22nd. And then we got it back, like, maybe... Two months? No, a month ago. I remember asking in chat if anybody had seen you or heard from you or seen you on anybody else's channel because I hadn't seen you and I didn't know if anything happened. So it is a gift. It is a gift. But the Royal Mail and the U.S. both start. They uh, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Trust me, it was tr marked off as a gift. I'm. I don't collect any of that. Right. So yeah, and it even says on here gift. Like. When I'm filling it out, like at Laurelin Fulford, the date and gift. So I've been on a YouTube freeze. Oh, well, we've missed you. It doesn't matter which time. I'll only be in the. Uh, I will only be a few hours ahead of you. Okay. Okay. Yes, and poor Jill O'Dell got 
screwed up the pooch too on that one. Oop, sorry. I did nothing. Move along. Nothing to see here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, sorry. <coughs> it just slipped out. <laughs> I was mad. <laughs> yes, they are. And I'm so. When it came back, I immediately thought was, "Oh my goodness, what happened to you? Are you okay?" <laughs> I was like immediately concerned because that's your project bag. I made that specifically for you. You picked your fabric. You could pick your zippers. You picked everything. That was your. Like that was designed just for you. So that was a mild. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Susan Taylor. We don't usually drop the bombs around here, okay? <laughs> no pilot to bombardier, pilot to bombardier, come in bombardier. No. <laughs> I had a package term from UK. The receiving duty was all, uh, was paid. Also had to reship today. Well, and we had to, there was um, we sent Miss Helly a package to Denmark at the beginning of last year, and it the whole box came back to me. I was so miffed. I was like, what the heck came on? Uh, it just said it never got picked up. I'm like, she's been expecting this. H how did it get missed? So I don't know. Knee replacement. Oh, 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 a biotic woman. There you go. There you go. I have a whole day off this Wednesday, so I will finally be able to join. Okay, then you pick the time, Kelly, eh? <laughs> you pick the time. My brother paid the duty on my owl. Oh. Well, I'm sorry that had to happen to you. That was certainly, you know, like, we don't get any of that, right? That's all the Royal Mail trying to, or the U.S. Mail or whatever, getting their little handout. So. It's going to hurt? Yeah, it probably is. But, in the end you will be able to get better, right? So, I didn't really particularly want them taking out a whole meter of my intestines as well as my appendix, but you know, they took it anyways. <laughs> okay, I think, oh, just a couple more and then we'll put some patches together. Is it already two hours already? My goodness, I didn't think this was gonna take this long. Yeah, I bet you are. I bet you are. I'm just glad to see you. I was kind of really worried about you. You don't see anybody in your in your chat for a while, and they're normally a person there. And you think the only thing you can either think to yourself is one, hopefully nothing happened to them, and two, did I actually say something to offend somebody? You know, which is not what I want to do. I mean, there are times where I have my moments, like the poke, but not all the time. <laughs> Does 10 a.m. Eastern sound for that sounds fine to me. What's Kelly A say? What's Kelly A say? Be be yeah, 11 for me, 10 for you guys. That works. That works for me. Okay, we can go all day. Okay, let's put some of these beautiful things together. Oh, you gotta go outwards. Why didn't you go out? Sounds good to me. Okay. All right. I'll make the the post later today for the YouTube and Discord and stuff. So. All right. So now when it comes to these pretty little nine patches, they're all the same. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna look like that. And they will look nice next to our paw. Okay for you. Okay. Awesome. Okay. But make sure. That it, when you check for Eastern after, like on tomorrow, Charlotte, or anybody who's over in the UK or change your time, make sure. Yeah, there is an exclamation Discord. You bet. They kind of look nice together, don't they, Mona? Hey, Robin Marie, how you doing? So we have eight of these to build out. Okay, so let's let's pop these together and get her get her done. In the words of the cable guy. Oops. Oh, there we go. That's outside for you. 
give you a moment if I'm outside. <laughs> Go touch some grass, people. <laughs> Can't touch it, at least see it. <laughs> mm, right knee, hip, uh, left knee. Oh, is that what you're getting done? Oh my goodness, yeah. Uh, you was on two fingers. I warned you I was on your finger. Oh, well, I it, it, it can't help but actually feel that way, though, you know, sometimes, Lucy. It's like, okay, what did I actually say to her? And then, like, especially when I got your um, uh, package back, I was like, I'm pretty sure I had the right address. So I did go back and look uh, when I got it back, and then I knew I, I did have the right address, but I'm thinking, yeah, 10, 10, 10 o'clock there, Lori, Eastern. If you wanted to join us on the Zoom, you just have to hit that little button right down there that says join and sign up for some stuff if you like. Pick a number. Double digits work really nice. Um, and then and then you come hang out with us. Okay. <laughs> you come hang out with us. We usually hang out all day. So far we've been like six hours and five hours and four hours and eight hours one day we did ten hours we just yeah come come hang out we we work on projects we encourage each other uh we help work through things we've discovered other people's seam rippers and how they work them and yeah it's actually it's a really quite quite interesting it's like uh, for for a, a small fee you hang out with some really cool people and it helps our channel too so and that is greatly appreciated. Sometimes I'm even there. Yeah, and even sometimes Pop is there. We've actually had a couple of special guests, right? Haven't we, ladies? What are we making today? A mess. <laughs> uh, I'm actually making up blocks to add to the side of this panel right here, and I'm going to give it away as a wedding gift. A young couple actually... Um, Munchkin went to school with a young man, and actually he's a, he's, um, he's actually a friend of mine. I would consider him a friend of myself, too. Um, he helped us a lot when we moved. He was moving a lot of stuff up from the basement and outside, and I gave him a lot of things. Gave him a fish tank, gave him this, gave him that, gave him a weight set. It was like a bunch of things that he, he, he could use as him starting off with him and his, his girlfriend. And now, now they just got married last, last Sunday, so, and I wanted to whip them up a little something. So, something to say. Thank you. Thank you for being who you are. And you guys deserve something. So I'm making you something. Uh, this was a... I have a bear... I actually have a whole a whole lot of these bear panels. So if anybody's actually interested in a bear panel, like you were with the rainbow panels, let me know because we did the rainbow panel last weekend. Uh, let me know if you're interested in a bear panel like this. I do have a few more, like seven, seven or eight more of them. So if you're interested, let me know. Um, I do have the uh, rainbow ones to sort out for a couple people. It was Crystal wanted one, um, uh, Allison wanted one, or some, anyways. And then there was, uh, I think Karen Little wanted some. So I think I had enough for three or four batches of the go twos. And then that was the, the end of the panels. But it does make for a nice quick quilt. So. That's always nice when you got a nice quick quilt um, project going on. We're just gonna, like I said, build out a couple blocks and then do some big strips of fabric and and I don't I don't know um, what their tastes are. But who doesn't love a big bear panel, right? So, yeah, no kidding. My insides have definitely told me that we wear out. Okay, those are nice. Oh, go back over here for a second. Yeah. Okay, so some nine, beautiful little nine patches here. So that's three. Get some more done here. Hey, Billy. Mm -hmm. I tried to uh, send her an email. I think it was last week. I didn't get anything back. So I don't know if uh, she doesn't look like she's been on live uh, for about a month. 
So if anybody has heard from Teresa Louise, that would be really nice to, to, to know if she's okay. We're, we're both done back in 22, hip in February and knee in December. At some point I may need to do the other two, but they aren't in pain yet. So we'll wait. Uh, shoulder issue at, is what I'm working on. Oh, jeepers. Yikes. My sister Elizabeth needs to get a shoulder sh shoulder surgery. Those are like two words I have a hard time uh, saying together. <laughs> Slow down. Shoulder. Shoulder surgery. surgery. I know, but then when I if I stop and pause that long, people think I'm having some sort of seizure. <laughs> you see it the other way, they think the same. Yeah, I guess so. Shoulder surgery. Sure. Light colored is to the dark side. Oh, I hope she's maybe she's just under the weather and can't get to it. I know, like when we we kind of, well, I guess I disappeared really because Pop and Munchkin were trying to hold it together the best they could. Um, we did, we did get a few messages too, but I, and I don't know if anybody, I'm sure Pop tried to respond, but our, our email is to both of us, right? So I don't know if her email is just to her and she doesn't have anybody else to check her emails. So that's, that's a, that's a tough, tough part. Cause there was, I wasn't communicating with anybody. I barely was talking to my sisters. So. And even sending them that message saying, yeah, I'm not si I'm ill. I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to go through tests and stuff like that. But I know, I know they were under the weather. I think I thought they had a bit of COVID or the flu or something like that. Her whole, her family, or like her and her husband's family. Right. Yeah, I hope she's doing okay. you uh, get through the surgery well, Lucy. Yes, it's 10 p.m. here. I got to go and sort supper. Two daughters and one grandson staying with us this weekend. One daughter's staying till next week. Uh, to look after. Oh, nice. Well, at least you got somebody to help you there. That's fantastic. I was, that was actually literally my next question. Did you have somebody there to help? That's the battle. Life is a struggle if you don't have the, you know, that extra hands to, to help you. I mean, it's a struggle no matter what, but I mean, there's points that in it that ease a little bit better than having someone else there to bounce things off of and go get groceries or, you know, get the mail. We had no mailbox for like three weeks, so we had to go get the mail at the mail at the post office all the time, right? So, and if you're not there to pick it up within the two week period, they send it back. That kind of puts a damper on some things when people can't even leave the house. I hope so. She has missed. She has missed. Tried to look for her live a couple of times, and I thought, well, maybe she was out with family or something. And then um, about two weeks ago, I guess it was the, has anybody heard from Teresa? And I'm like, uh-oh, okay, what's going on? And it's no fun being sick. It really isn't. Been in and out picking up the ham and scalp potatoes. Oh, yummy. I love me scalp potatoes. Nom, nom, nom. Put it in my face, please. I love me scalp potatoes. I like anything potato, really. French fries, baked potato, mashed potatoes. Does it boil them up, fry them up, smash them up? Any kind of potato. Okay, last one, then we'll press this, and then we're going to add it to our paw, and then we're going to see what we need for to add to the long side, to go from top to bottom, with this block and the paw in between. We'll take that measurement. Okay. Did you do your poke poke today? No, I didn't. Uh oh. So I can do this. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, so now it's kind of like, where do you press? Because things all whacked, right? In and out. It's raining. I, I know I saw your video earlier. I was hoping it would let up for you there, Allison. Is everybody else getting rained out on the West Coast there? California, eh? What? California. <laughs> I said born. <laughs> Could have been the other one. Hey, Rebecca. Bye, everyone. Have an oh, I didn't even see. I didn't even know we were here. I'm sorry, Rebecca. I missed you. Big hugs. Now, I've been staying away from all the chocolates. I've been trying to be really good. Papa's been really good, and he's been showing me that I can be good too. So, because yeah, I got on the scale the other day, and I'm still not happy. So. <laughs> I'm trying to be happy, but it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. It's raining in Ohio. For once, it is not raining here. That's all I have to say. That's uh, on that matter. It's not. It's not raining here. Okay. So we have. We got a paw up, and we got a paw here, and then we're gonna have. So when I do the paws, should I put them so they're like? Hold on, so you, just so you can see what I'm doing here. The, the this way, this way, this way, this way in the corners, or should I put them like this way, this way, top and bottom, top and bottom, or flipped, flipped so they're they're outside. Oh, I like that together too. That's a pretty one. What should we do? I kind of like this way because then it kind of plays with the whole bear paws and it looks like it should be that way. I think I kind of like that one. What do you guys think? Flip this way. I found a truffle gruyere. Gruyere. All outwards. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought too. Okay. So we'll have that one sitting up there and this one sitting this way. And then once we get those two together, we'll get that space in between the, the patches and that'll be the other point. Figure pointing out. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was thinking. I was hoping. Okay. Look how look how well that matched up. Jeepers, creepers. It's almost like I knew what I was doing. What? Look at that. Playing with my fabric and having fun. I'm sorry? What makes a wedding quilt a wedding quilt? Mm, it's for a couple that got married. That's what makes it a wedding quilt. It's a wedding quilt. You tell me what makes it play. It's filled with love and made with love, and hopefully they'll be in love forevermore. Exactly. What Pop said. Okay, so we got one for one way and one for another. Okay. So we got make sure we got our paws the right direction. Okay, let's press that. Apparently, you press before like that. What you do on before you flip it is actually setting the seam. Apparently, who said that? The people's. Yeah. Yeah, I believe them. They know more than I do. <laughs> At least they think they do. That's what they tell me anyway. <laughs> okay, back. Uh, says done for today. What? What? Okay. Wait, what's? What's? What's back? Oh. Okay, back is done. For oh, day. okay. Okay, gotcha, Pat Reman Schneider. Okay. Big hugs to you, my dear. Okay, and then we'll put this one on this side and this one on this side. Okay.
kind of, my goal is just trying to make it big enough to cuddle on the couch, you know, or an extra quilt for the bed, or even something for the car. But it is a wedding gift. All right, so we've got those two, and then we've got the other four for the other side. Okay, so here and here. Just the seam. Now, what we need to do, now we need to trim that panel. Okay, so let's scoot these bits off to the side here. Grab this out of the way. Grab our other little bits. We need our big chunk. Or big ruler. Our panel. Where did you go? There you are. Now I'm going to trim like right on the line as much as I can get because I don't want to see any of the white uh, in any of the seam allowance. Okay, so I'm going to try and trim right next to it. And being free with the like the blocks and then the fabric chunks, it makes it very nice and easy to do uh, panels like this because you you can just kind of wing it on adding what you want and then just a big chunk of fabric in between. And it makes it very flexible because that chunk of fabric can be any size that you need to go in between your blocks. It doesn't have to be a set piece, right? It doesn't have to be a set number. It's whatever you make it out to your block. You can put another, you know, set of... Um, nine patches of a different color or another paw and then a nine patch or you know put some flying geese or do some stars or snowballs or what have you i didn't want to go completely like snow snow because it kind of looked with the green on it it does look like a little bit more of a springtime feel to it didn't seem like completely because of the water and you know didn't really have a whole winter. It kind of felt like spring to me. And some panels can be a little whomped. Uh, all I can just suggest is wetting it and pressing it and steaming it to get it square out the best that you can. You may have to like pin it to um, like some foam or something like that and let it dry or dry it with a hair dryer so it has that memory. We found some eagle fabric. Nice. Nice. Did you see on Tuesday, did you have to see the picture that uh, Munchkin and I took of uh, the eagle on the way back from the grocery store? Oops, this one's a little bit. A little bit of white there. You wouldn't be able to see that even with my seam allowance, but I just want to make sure you don't. So. Now this panel is called Northern Peaks by Deborah Edwards and Melanie Samar, 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 and if anyone is interested in one, just let me know, please. Info at wesewit.ca. Okay, so now we're going to take our... Hmm, because we want that to be up at the corner here, our bear paw. Our bear paws need to be in the corner. So we're really going to be building out. I did this wrong. Because what we need to do is have this block in between here and here. So can I just shift those around to make them work for me for the top and Yes, I can. Okay, so we're, those don't need to be fiddled with. We just need the distance between this guy here and this guy over here. Okay. Let's see what we got number-wise. 
Now that I see the colors of the panel up close, I'm not sure you could have found a better accent fabric for the bear. I know! Thank you so much for saying that! Right? It kind of has all those colors in there. And it even got, it's got, even got a little bit of like extra dark brown on some of those bits there. Like you can see a little bit of extra dark brown. Yeah, thank, thank you. Oh, okay, yeah. We could do that. And then work the side. Okay, I had it all in my mind. I was doing the sides first, but you're you're right there, Pauline. You're right. Because if we just do this, right? Same process. Same process. Yeah, just just a little a little different. So we just need to figure out what we need from here to here. Okay, so let's scoot ourselves over, and we gotta allow for seam allowance. Okay. So what do we got here? That's a good one. Okay, hold on. Let's. Chalk. There's a little chalk. So, this plus a half an inch, right? So, that makes it. That plus a half an inch. 17. 17. Nope. 16 and three quarters plus a half an inch makes it 17 and a quarter, right? So 17 and a quarter. And this is, can we turn the heat down one? Because I'm getting a little warm. Thank you. Getting hot in here. Okay, let's double check. This is the width of our, it is. And then two pieces at 17 and one quarter for the top and the bottom. So what kind of eagle fabric did you find there, Nancy? We don't want to, we just want to use just shy of that seam allowance, I mean the salvage there, sorry. Thank you. Was it me? <laughs> don't believe them. <laughs> Papa's so right. Okay, so, oh, no, not that one. Get back here. <clears throat> oh, oh, I forgot to put one together. What? Say it ain't so. I forgot to put two together. I'm missing, hello? I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Oh my gosh, I'm losing it. Did I actually not put one together that I should have put together? I thought you did four. No, I need to do eight. I needed to do eight of it. I thought I had eight. Oh, there, did one fall in the basket? Ah! <laughs> but I still have this one to put together, though, so that was throwing me off. Like, wait a second here. <laughs> Little problemo. You're just too excited to get it finished up. Well, I, I get excited when it comes to this part, because now it's like things are coming together. So I'm just making the block. We're actually, like, doing something, something, right? So... Okay, all right. In momento. Let me make this block up here, okay? Oh, you need to iron those? I will when I'm done, but I'm just, you know, two, one thing at a time, a dude. <laughs> and it only has David Textile. Let's... Oh, the fox. I mean, sorry, not the fox. The eagle. I'll have to look at David Textiles.
give that a little press after we put these two together. Yeah, speedy recovery there, Deborah, for sure. That's going to be hard to go through. I think it really this could really work with any panel just figure out what what is you know what the panel is is it you know traditional is it you know naturey sort of thing like obviously the bears inspired for the bear paw and Kelly quilts and cruises said that she thinks uh, when she saw the um, this panel being worked on like as in worked out there actually was bear paws in the corner so <laughs> that just goes to show what it's meant to be <laughs> We'll add this to this side and then we'll press them all and then add them to the top and the bottom. Okay. And I need some tea, so I'm to wet my whistle. Wet me whistle. I do like the lemon ginger one I got though. And I found the one, what was it that had the skull caps in it? Um, they, it says it's supposed to, um, uh, kind of like mellow you out a little bit like for anxiety and stuff like that I think I was like more agitated <laughs> I'm like what's in this stuff all right so let's do that pop this back here And everybody, uh, oh, uh, if you guys wouldn't mind taking a moment and wishing Miss Gwenny Simpson, one of our very longtime moderators, uh, a happy birthday. It is her birthday this weekend. She is spending it with family. So go ahead, fill up that chat. All the happy birthday wishes for Miss Gwenny. So I can say later to her, happy birthday. And chat wishes you a happy birthday too. Go check out chat. Because then she'll feel all the love. She is a big part of our community here. She is much loved and adored. Okay, now we're going to stick this on the top and the bottom. Fill up that chat. You got it, people. Fill it up. Fill it up. I want to see nothing but happy birthday wishes to Miss Gwenny. We loves her. And I know she wanted to come back and see us this year because it would have been her it's her 75th birthday. Uh, but I think because of my health issues and what she had going on because of her family stuff, um, it didn't just didn't come up in the plan. So that's okay. There will always be another time. She's more than welcome to come back at any point. Please don't tell me I sold it on wrong. I didn't. Phew. Okay. <laughs> it could have been one of those moments where we brought the steam ripper out and sang the song. <laughs> yes, thank you, everybody. Epic birthday day to you. Eat cake and blow out candles. Wishing you a wonderful year, says Sandtrap66 on Twitch there, Miss Gwenny. Guys, okay, so, well, we, we normally uh, we started off on YouTube there, uh, Sandtrap, so we have uh, far more people on the YouTube side. But slowly growing over on Twitch. Slowly. Thank you, everybody. Yes, she's been a very big part of our community. Well, we love her. Okay, so now I'm going to stitch those at the top and the bottom, okay? Okay. 
Yes, a long, long time ago, we were gifted with Gwenio. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a new song. it's a new song, yeah. We're all full of new songs. As long as it's not beans, beans, and musical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. The more you toot, the better you feel. So eat your beans with every meal. Happy birthday, Gwen. <laughs> Happy birthday, Gwen. <laughs> That's okay. You'll make her laugh. That's all that matters. <laughs> it's making her laugh. She's so cute. Oh, damn, holy bejeebies, where'd that come from? <laughs> hey, I'm 52. I'm 52. It's been a rough start to my 50s, but we're, we're doing better now. We're doing much better now. <clears throat> oh, oh, no, chip, 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 no, 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 chip, no. Where can I send you a picture of it? Um, do you have Discord? You can put it into Discord or uh, face bookings. You could do that too. We're going to be d using Discord, Discord far more often um, now, uh, just because it's it's a really good platform for all to connect in. And you can, if you're on Discord, you can actually have real life conversations with people, like pop in a chat or whatever. You know, hey, Linda Dollar, welcome. Thank you everybody for the birthday wishes for for um, Miss Gwenny. Really, really appreciate that. Very super sweet lady, lots of fun. Really fun to hang out with too. We went and saw the tides, the Bay of Fundy tides when her and she was here with her daughter. And um, it was very anticlimactic though. <laughs> Cause it just kinda, <laughs> no, it was just like this little tiny little bit. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to press this, and then we'll measure, and then we'll have the space for her. You're getting there, LL? <laughs> well, Thank you so much. Appreciate it. <laughs> Your love means a lot. It fills up my cup. My cup gets filled up by the love of you guys. So. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, look at that. That's so pretty. Look at that matching colored here. Okay, so that's un, un, and then we go the diz. My theater kids uh, use Discord for rehearsals to uh, drink. Yes, well, Discord is a fantastic platform for you can share videos and pictures, and I guess they have conversations, send images to people uh, specifically, or you know, join different chats and. What have you? Yeah, it's good fun. There's a channel there that you can have conversations in, right? You know, pop your little headset on, and away you go. Okay, now we're going to take our measurement, right? Because we have. We have our paw that we need to add here. Okay, so here's one of our paws. So that's going to be our corner kind of spot unit to our quilt. Okay, and then we're going to put another paw in the other corner. So let's let's mark this with pen. Okay, right there, and then we'll do the same on this side with our paw. Let's do the thing. Hey, where's Tracy Albert today? I haven't seen her. Or is she here and she's just hiding? Okay, so I'm not the most observant person. Oh, uh, when did you get a new cell? Uh, a couple weeks ago. It finally came in the mail. It's a Martelli mat. It took forever and a freaking day. Uh, yeah, I said that. Um, 
but it did and it cost me more than I anticipated because one we're Canadian so there was um, obviously the Canadian exchange fee extra postage plus duty and everything else on top of that so it is a very expensive mat but I can use both sides of it so therefore I am justified in <laughs> 27 and a quarter oh oh okay thank you I appreciate it because I'm I was like missing her and then I wanted to say something and then I was like missing her again so thank you thank you thank you I'm gonna have to send her a message afterwards So it looks like 27 and a half, but let's just confirm that on, or sorry, 27 and a quarter. So let's just confirm that on both sides, just to be sure. Just to be sure, sure, sure. I hope she feels better. Yeah, so this, this mat will last you two, uh, two years. Oh, more than that. Oh, gosh. Maybe. I'm saying at least four. It depends. It depends on it's how got two well, sides to it. Yeah, it depends how well it lasts. So the yellow, the yellow side is just as as the the text on here. It's just like that. I have it like um, rolled over, taped sort of thing on the side, so it's 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 on there for a bit. It is smaller than the green mat though, twenty seven and three quarter quarter. Yeah. It looks twisted on the table. I had sent a text. Was weird. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, thank you, Sherlock or Lori. I appreciate that. So 27 and a quarter, so that means I'm going to need two cuts because the width of the fabric is only going to be 40 something, right? So only two cuts at the eight inches with the fabric. And that'll add this whole nice big panel section on. Yeah. She, 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 uh, she, uh, I thought she was at the last Zoom meeting. She was feeling a little under the weather. She had a cough. And then I think Tracy Probus also had a cough too. So 27. I hope she feels better too. It sucks. It, hates, it really is. It's just a pain in the katushas to be under the weather. Especially when she's a she's a she's a doer, right? She's a she's a go getter. 27 and one quarter. Oh. Let's press the crease out. Yeah, it took me about another two and a half hours to do the borders on that quilt. So I'm glad we didn't stick around last Saturday and do them up. Borders are pretty much, you know, if you're just slapping stuff around. This is where actually kind of building out stuff, so it's a little bit different. Let's cut our salvages off. Don't want to use that. The cough and stuff has been... Yes, yes, exactly. I've heard it too. And when Munchkin had it for a bit there, I was like, you know, and I'm just kind of glad it didn't come my way at all, right? I'm not saying I don't love them, just don't want all the germs. And he says thank you to every single one of you who wished him a happy birthday throughout the whole week last week, um, between this, this, all the streams that we had. Uh, that was really awesome and amazing of everybody to do that. And I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And Miss Lois, I did tell him that something was coming for him from you because that's what you said. So, so all right, now we're going to put our paw in each corner. So he, now he has something to look forward to. He knows something's coming in the mail. one side so those are facing out that way so the other ones need to face out this way right so here and here perfect okay we didn't make no boo-boos there we're good we're good 
same week as my yeah <laughs> yeah he even he even said he said thanks for making it you know like a, a good birthday for him so mission success <laughs> that was my goal was to make sure he felt he, at least he felt like he had a good birthday right try to do my best as a parent right Allergies are terrible. Well, that's it too, like with the pollen and stuff like that. And I know um, Tracy Albert is terribly allergic to some blooming flowers and it could very well be something that's maybe has to set her off in the neighborhood or something. Uh. Right. Thank you, everybody, for all those lovely birthday wishes for Miss Gwenny. I'm sure she's going to be absolutely thrilled. Yeah, I think she's got a household of people this weekend. So, which most people do. It's uh, Easter. I mean, if we were closer to other family, we probably would be too. But uh, we we we're not, and we really don't. We just uh, the three of us, and we celebrate in our own little way. So, we had a, a lovely meal yesterday, asparagus and cauliflower and cheese bun and beets and duck. Potty bait. <laughs> okay, there's that two, and then these two, and then we'll sew it down the sides. And with just a, just a few blocks, like with just 12 blocks, and we can border out this little little quilt or a little panel into like a half decent cuddle blanket or cuddle quilt for the coach. When somebody calls a quilt a blanket, I am not offended. I am not offended at all when they call, oh, I love my blanket, right? As far as I'm concerned, they love something I've made. And whether they call it a blanket or a quilt, to me, it doesn't matter, right? They just may not know that it is a quilt the way it is made. It's not just like a blanket blanket, right? But, you know, I don't I don't personally take offense to it, so. How was your duck? It was tasty. Um, it is a lot of dark meat and it is a bit fatty. Like there was a lot of fat that came up on from on, and I did have it on a tray, like I had it like, on a rack. Um, uh, unfortunately, dark meats and fatty meats are not the best for people with Crohn's disease because of the digestion, like the beef and pork and stuff like that. So that's where I kind of, I'm mostly just chicken and, and fish. Um, I, I did like it, it did taste really good, uh, but we did do some research and the, the duck eggs are a little bit better for me than the chicken eggs, like the processing of the digestion and stuff like that. Cause I have a, ever since the Crohn's disease and operation, I have a hard time with like just eggs, eggs, like just hard boiled, fried, doesn't matter poached but I love them I love eggs so but it, it did taste good but I'm not I'm not sure if um, if that's something that we are gonna try to raise here yet if we do it'll be just de definitely just for the boys and I'll have the eggs right when I missed I was outside trying to bring my dog Scarlet who was trying to get her. oh no oh no they are all over the place, little groundhogs and squirrels and stuff like that. There's a gap in the, like the mm, flashing, I guess, of the shop here right at the, by the door. There's a little flap that kings down. Marcus is watching the little chipmunk go, do, 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 and right up into it. <laughs> he goes, oh, you have a friend. I go, yeah, I know. I've heard, I've heard him. <laughs> we'll do something about it after. <laughs> It happens. Okay, take care, Mona. See you later, alligator. Do, 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 do. Hopefully, see you Wednesday. If you're not busy for the zooming. So I'm gonna have uh, runner duck. Yeah, runner ducks and Indian runner duck. This was a Peking. We did look at it. It was Wenzel, W E N T Z E L uh, Farms. Uh, that uh, raised these ducks. So it did seem like it was a Peking duck from our research. Okay. 
Did the little girl like her jacket? Oh, she loved it. In fact, um, on our page, on our community page, on the face, uh, the, on the YouTube side, on the community side, there is a link that you can go and watch her open up the package if you want to. Her dad put it on stream. So, and when he mentions Looper, that's me. <laughs> so, yes, and and she she liked it. She 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 liked, and there was a she actually has it on. It is a little bit big on her, which I understand. You know, I I didn't make it for her to fit right this at at this point in time in her her life. I knew it was going to be big, so. But I didn't know how big she was. Uh, is Miss Sophie okay? I would think so. Is that what you just had? Yep. Oh, okay. I just I missed it, so I didn't see what was nope. going on. She's all curled up. She's all curled up. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's good. She's getting old, though. You know, she's coming on eleven next month. No, nope, sorry. Well, almost next month in May. In May, she'll be eleven. So. Used to have Aylesbury. Aylesbury. Aylesbury ducks. Their eggs were gorgeous. Ooh, really? And and if I don't eat them, does it mean that um, you know the boys can't? I mean, like they, I mean, they, I meant the boys can eat them. Not that they can't. That's not what I meant to say. Um, uh, but whatever I don't eat in the meat wise, whatever becomes extra is just all. It's just food for Sophie, right? So. And whatever other, you know, four-legged critters we have running around here. Secret. Two-legged, three-legged, four-legged. <laughs> what? <laughs> three-legged? I don't know. You never know. <laughs> we had some crazy-looking chickens a year before. <laughs> Oh, she totally is. She was snoring earlier there, guess who, Nancy? She, even Pauline uh, Fruit could hear her snoring. <laughs> Gotta love the life of a dog. The neighbor could hear her snoring. <laughs> she was really loud in, in uh, the bedroom the other night. We were all trying to go to sleep. Where was it? We were getting up in the morning. And uh, Pop made a comment about... The two of us snoring in unison or something. <laughs> the chorus of snorers. I'm like, some people wish for that and dream for that, okay? Like, seriously. <laughs> Don't you knock it. <laughs> Don't you knock it till you try it, bub. <laughs> okay, now we've got those paws on either side of this panel, okay? We're going to sew them down on the set. Okay. Amos is piecing around the pond and me to go downstairs and sit on the sofa with him. He wants cuddle time, Mama. Cuddle time. Our pins in the pin cushion. Imagine that. Imagine that. Okay. Let's... Move everything together. Be careful when you're like moving the big chunk of fabric. You do have pins in it, so just kind of be gentle with it. Don't be grabbing it like it's a, you know runaway critter or something like that. Just kind of be gently floofing it. Floofing it out. And sometimes it's getting just a little bit fuller down here on the bottom. was getting just a little bit. You just kind of take a couple of pins out and then just kind of, I don't know, just kind of fluff it up and then just kind of maybe give the bottom just a little bit of a tug and then it feeds in a little bit nicer. And then that way you don't get a fold or a pleat or anything. And then again, needle down. Bring the fabric towards you. This seems like it's okay. So we'll just keep on trucking.
sometimes you have to do that with fabric, especially when it comes to adding borders and stuff like that. Measure, measure, measure. And if you know you're right, you know it's all gonna fit, you just kind of have to do a little flippity floppity. And I did pin where those, uh, that other nine patch is matching on the other side of this block. So that seam so it matches up nicely. Just a little back stitch. This um, spool of Orofil thread is doing much better than the last one. I had it breaking like all the time and I couldn't figure out why. It was like one of the worst spools I've ever had from Orofil. I just felt like that the whole the whole grade the whole thing was, was like that. Seems like such a pain. Once I've loaded up this one, I've, I haven't had any issues. Like I just opened the package and then uh, I made a bobbin. Like, which reminds me, I need to get some more What is everybody's favorite color to stitch with? Maybe we can do a pull. Can we do a pull? Um, no, I can't do a pull oh, across okay. three platforms. Oh, okay. Well, then maybe just type it in chat. Late to the party, but paid the rent. <laughs> I'm assuming that's the thumbs up sign. I appreciate that. Smash that like button, people. <laughs> or like that smash button. You know, whatever it is. <laughs> green thread. Yeah, green? Oh, I, was, I had to use green for the hat when I was making the jersey hat. White or gray? Yeah, that's it. That's usually it seems to be mine there, Miss Elsa. No gray or fill. No cream. Oh, uh, what is this that I? I don't know. It's a gray, but I don't. I don't know if it's a dove gray though. But look. Oh, oh, oh! Stop backing up. Back it up. I went a little crazy with the seam allowance there. Oh yeah. What the the, the drunk baboon was back. Hold on. Let's try that again. Like gray white. <laughs> it's just oh yeah, right. <laughs> right, Tracy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I just felt like Jesus. It was just like a, a, a complete frustration with like the whole spool of it. And I've never had that happen before. So I'm like, maybe it's the way it was wound, or I don't know. Sometimes it's really weird. <clears throat> I do prefer gray, especially when you're working with some darker colors. The, the white doesn't sa stand so prominent against it, or if, as you see, like maybe the seams in between a little bit. It's not so standout-ish. So I do, I do prefer the gray since I started working with the gray. On a lot of projects, for sure. Tan, tan, oh, white or tan. No, I didn't. I did because I really just thought it was me until I like this one right here, and that's really what made me think. Okay, maybe it was just the because I buy packs of like eight of them at a time. I think it's eight, six or eight. It's like a box. So, and I try to, you know, give out some. And when customers give uh, get me to do their quilts for them, I usually send them gifts on the way back. So I can pretty much ask any one of my customers. <laughs> All right, so now this is gonna iron this, and sometimes thread is one of them. So I used to rely on gray, but have started using a tan color. Oh, so what? Because I, I need to order some thread, so I thought I'm, you know, what other color would I want to use, right? Besides white and gray, but tan. I kind of like the idea of tan though. Yeah, I've had spools like that too. I thought it was just me. I guess it's like my first time, and I've been using Orofil for years now, so it made it easier for me to purchase the Orofil than it was for the Guterman thread. So it was like, okay, well, I might as well. Okay, that's kibushes. We're we're fixing that one. What the heck happened there? Okay. Maybe here we'll see. Show, show chat. Show chat what I've done wrong. Keep on the seam ripper. Look at that! Look at that! It's like five miles away from each other. Jeepers. Do a better job. 
you can do better. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go like a couple inches on one side and a couple inches in the other. You don't want to just go that little space or it's going to look goofed. Okay, so you just want to go a couple on either side, line that seam up better, and then when you're working the extra fabric on either side, it'll be easier to slip it in. Okay, so now I'm going to come back over here, put a pin in now, again, I clearly made a mistake, right, so let's do it better. You've been color zero, zero, zero. Okay, what do we find mine is? Um, I am 290, 280? No, 2800? Zero, zero, zero? Or maybe this is 2000. Zero, zero, zero. No, I'm sure there's an 8 or a 9 in front of there. Um, I can't tell the color though. It doesn't say color. Unless it does on the website, but I didn't see that. So. Okay, so now that's a bit fixed. Let's see what our other one looks like. See if we've got to attack it with the seam river. No, that's perfect. That's scrum diddly umptious. Right? Okay. So let's just fix this one. Okay. Unless we have the other ones to do. Let's take a peek. No, that's good. And that's good. Okay. All right, so just the one. <laughs> right. I'm sorry, Teresa. Sorry. <laughs> 2024, color 2000 is a light cream. Oh, okay, light cream. So maybe I'll get a cream tannish sort of color too. Because if I'm going to order and I got to pay for shipping, I just kind of want to order once, but I'll have to wait for some money to come in first. Let's see if that turned out better. Did we do okay? What? Why? Why can't we do that right? Look at that. It's slightly better, but there's still like a quarter. <sighs> okay. We can and we will do better. I'm not asking for perfect. Just ask him for better. Because I don't really use like a lot of black, so I wouldn't want to use get like a box of black thread. But definitely gray, white. And I'm kind of like in the cream kind of tan idea. That seems like it could be beneficial. Got a sale ad from Superior Threads yesterday. Oh, are they they good for um, quilting with? I mean, like sewing and quilting with? Because I thought they were normally um, long arm thread, or am I wrong? I'm probably wrong. Okay, let's try this again. Third time's lucky, right? Right? One out of four had done good. I want four out of four. Okay, there we go. That's much better. Go ahead. Much better. Right there. See? Better, better. Better, 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 better. Okay. Fact pricing. There we go. And now we've taken that little panel and we bulked it up by 16 inches on either side, no, um, between the sides. Okay, so eight inches on both, on either side. And then what we can do, because we do have time to, to work on this. It, it just has to come with us, but I would like to probably end up finishing for Long Arm Wednesday. So I'll probably just add like a black border to this and then maybe a thin, a line of the brown and in that black border I might add some geese but I guess you'll just have to come and hang out next weekend to figure that out. <laughs> so I'm Gina. like a meatloaf song. Two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> That's only 66%. You did 
75%. So I think I take the 75 the <laughs> Exactly. Okay, I'm going to have to hold this sideways because you won't be able to see it otherwise. Okay. So right now, this is... Do, 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 do. 60, no, 58, 58 by, uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 47 and a half. So we add a few more inches all the way around it and makes a great, great cuddle quilt. I like that. I like the bear paws. What if you did a th uh, thin black board run and then a wider? That's exactly what I was thinking about doing. Yeah, yeah. And then in the black, I might do the some of the other half square triangles uh, as the geese, because but the brown would be the geese, because then it would blend in with the black, right? So the black half square triangles would go off to the side, and then the would form the brown geese. So yeah, I think that would be good. I know, beating it up. <laughs> there we go. That looks cute, though. Oh, I'm gonna get it all in there. Can't. Hey, it's a nice way to build one out, right? Okay. So we'll do a thin black with a couple of those geese and then a nice chunk of this brown color. We'll seal it all up like as a nice frame. I think that's what we'll end up doing. So, But we're already at three hours for today and I always promise the boys no more than three to four hours on the weekend. Uh, or I say, sorry, two to three hours, um, and like four would be the absolute maximum. But I'm, 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 I'm good. I'm good for today. Does anybody have any questions? Oh, I could do fish shapes too. Yes, you could, especially with the the bears down there. Yeah. Hmm. Let me think about that. It's a good idea. It's a good idea there, Jill. Yeah, kind of cute. Yeah, so we'll finish it off uh, kind of similar to that. Any questions? And if you're interested in a panel, please info at wesoa.ca. I have a whole rolly rolly here, okay? And if you, uh, I'll probably finish this off on Monday and get it stitched up uh, for Long Arm Wednesday. So you'll see it on that video, just like you saw this one on Wednesdays, okay? <laughs> How long will it take to sew my binding? I'm going to say half an hour per side. I'm going to say half an hour. I'm going to think it's going to take you two hours. It's going to take you two hours to do your quilt. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate that. Big hugs to you. Uh, member, uh, members uh, Guild meeting this uh, Wednesday, starting at 10 a.m. Eastern. Come hang out. We'll probably go for about five or six hours. Um, yeah, so come hang out. Okay. Remember, if you want to come, join. Hit that button that says join. Okay. Hang out. Happy Easter. Yes, happy Easter, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Pat Strawhouse. Appreciate it. Um, mm, 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 mm. I was kind of actually hoping your, you were picking up your our, your trailer the weekend after you said you were going to pick it up there, Pat Strawhouse, because then I probably could have met you up in Hillsburg for you. <laughs> I'm hopping along. Yeah, hopping along. <laughs> yeah, there's no chocolate in the house, no cakes, no goodies, no cookies, no nothing. So we're, we're doing good. <laughs> we're doing good. Everybody enjoy for us, okay? <laughs> yes, happy Easter. Um, let's see. Is there, we, do we want to do anything else? We're good? Oh, is Tracy H. still here? Oh my goodness, I was going to forget this box again. I'll be tucked into half of it before I actually, you know. Is Tracy H. still here? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. I got this box to go through. Got one last thing to do. One last thing to do. Go get it. Yes, yeah, she is okay. I'm sorry, it's right here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I would have been hitting up my buttons and then it would have been, oh, for Pete's sakes, Laura Lynn. <laughs> okay, so you can't, you can't see her address. Okay. Now, now this is just a thank you gift because I made her a label. Right, Tracy H? <laughs> so, let's go overhead. So, we have this, this jelly roll here that she gifted to me. 
This lemon, it's called Soft, oh sorry, Stoke Fabrics Brewer. So quilt creative. It's lovely little like prairie kind of colors. Prairie Lake Court, Aurora, Illinois. Red, green, and beige. Oh, that's going to be gorgeous. So thank you for that. And she sent me another jelly roll. Now this was just for a label, okay? <laughs> now let's just, I don't know, this looks like super fun. I don't even know if it says anything on here, sorry. Uh, tiny Treaters. Oh, maybe it's Halloween. Oh, cool. Jill Hayworth, I think that's how you say. Riley Blake Designs. Create high quality fabrics. Okay, right there. And then a bunch of little bits here. I didn't even go through them because Marcus was like, oh wow, love that. So I think we might be saving those for Marcus. <gasps> Mushrooms and flames. Ooh, wow, ooh, that's cool. Ooh, I see a bag, people. I see a bag. <laughs> awesome, 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 okay. And it's some charm packs here. Uh, beneath the Western Sky. That looks lovely. Some beautiful fabrics in there. This one here, Hope Bloom. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, look at those pretty little butterflies. We could do that up for cancer. Yeah, strength and courage. Yeah, we could do that up as a donation for cancer. Hopefully you raise some money. Cute little fat quarters here with lovely little trees and flowers. Oh, love that. That's so cool. Oh, that's, that's neat. That's very neat. I'm, I'm like, I'm serious. She, she gave it all. And then this one had me confused because I saw dogs. Oh, no. First I saw people. And then... I said, <laughs> can I, yeah, right, right, Samantha Savage, can I make you a label? And then we saw it was doggies. But at first I thought it was a people. Do you see the people? I saw the people. <laughs> and then this cute little, it's like the paper dolls we had as kids. Remember that? Little paper dolls. Uh, game score run sport. I love the lions. I could totally see a bag out of that one too. That's so pretty. I know, very much from future projects. And then we got this comic that looks like it's sewing related, but I didn't take it out. Behind Every Great Quilter, uh, When Life Gives You Scraps, Arc Runaway Project, uh, or Project Runaway. Uh, I really do need all this fabric. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Okay, again, a bag. You saw people too? <laughs> people with dog sweaters, right? And then this little layer cake right here. Set Sail America. It's got some beautiful, cute little fabrics on here to play with. Paper dolls with tabs, right? Remember that? So thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> when she asked me what I wanted, I'm like, no, I didn't do it for to for monies I just I wanted to help you all because you asked for a label so okay so lots of fun stuff in here thank you so much there Tracy H that was really really nice of you like oh my goodness so we've already got like a charity quilt in here if not two so we're, we're, we're gonna do some good with your stuffs so thank you thank you thank you thank you very much yes project bag for the cartoon for sure definitely Okay, sorry about that. Sorry it took me so long to get organized. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, anybody have any questions? Thank you. Thank you for all the fun. Thank you. Thank you. Would be great. Could read it all the time. Yeah, exactly. Follow it along, right? <clears throat> hey, Pamela Mitchell. <clears throat> I still have some of your stuff, the, some stuff to mail out. So... I wasn't feeling all that 100% fantastic this past two weeks, so I will get there, I promise. How I'm doing a month or so, I'm hollering at get my clothes. Oh, that's fine. I, I, girl, you call me. <laughs> I set you up, no problem. <laughs> yes, thank you very much for your fabric share. Thank you, thank you. That was very nice of you. Very, very, very nice of you. Um, okay, if that's, if there's no other questions, and uh, we're wishing you all a very happy, joyous day. And from the supervisor, um, and myself, and Pop, and Munchkin, 
We hope you have an amazing Easter weekend. <laughs> and Sophie's ready. Oh, look, a spider, Sophie. A spider on the floor. Look. She don't care. She don't care. She's up for belly rubs. <laughs> Can we get your foot going? Can we play the Sophie guitar? No? No. Not yet. Say bye, everybody. Say bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> I don't know where you're going. <laughs> Are we done? No? I so. Okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> I don't know when you, if you cut it. <laughs> I haven't yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Okay, bye. <laughs>